Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. We're back and we're in the limousine. In the back of the limousine. We're in the back of a limousine. We are in the back. Back. limo. I'm joined today by my co hosts, Matt. Yes, yeah, going on? Swagger. How are you going? Zuckles. Hello. And Toby. What's up? And we're here in the back of a limousine for a very special episode of the Misfits Podcast. It's bad and bougie. It's bad, it's <laughs> bad and sure bougie. It it's a lot more bad than bougie. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. mostly bad. But we are going to be recounting a very special trip we all embarked on recently to none other than Tasmania. Isn't that exciting? Ooh. It sounds like, I know you're thinking like, oh, Tasmania, probably a bit of a shithole. No one really yeah. talks about Tassie. <laughs> That's um, why we're talking about it. Get and, some attention you're to right. it. Yeah, it's <laughs> huge <laughs> shithole. Wouldn't go. It was so beautiful. Honestly, no, it was like, lovely. to be fair, before we went, like my mental image of Tasmania was like somewhere between Madagascar and fucking New Zealand, I guess. I really? thought, I, I, thought have a, I have a right idea. Yeah, I you, thought you, it would just have been a massive trailer park. Yeah, I kind of thought it was going to be just a shit home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all I know is that... Uh, the way the... people talk <laughs> about it, like, on the mainland, make Tasmania seem to be like this horrible place where there's nothing to do. But yeah. fuck your cousins. Yeah, there's mm. a lot of incest jokes about Tasmania. I didn't see one person having incestual sex, though. <laughs> So. I think I saw something. Yeah, you the didn't back see them. I didn't see the anyone there. There's fucking no one there. I, unfortunately, I couldn't find any of my relatives. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they so I wasn't able to indulge in that uh, part of the Tassie high life, but we had fun regardless. And we're going to tell mm. you all about our adventure. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Misfits uh, videos, you'll know that we almost always uh, make a podcast recounting an adventure, talking about the uh, the mischief we got up to. The book before the movie. Yeah, you can the, think book of this as, the, movie. As the book before the movie. The before the movie. It's basically going to spoil a big video that we have coming out in the upcoming month. Um, which is probably going to be a fucking hour long. I don't know. There's so yeah, much footage. Probably more. Mitchell is just actually d- drowning in footage. Um, and pussy. But yeah. And un- pussy. <laughs> until that video comes out, for your viewing pleasure, you can listen to this, and we're going to tell you all about the uh, the shenanigans. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, I guess before we start, big thanks to Gamershops for sponsoring not only the podcast, but the trip. Yeah, the trip absolutely. as well. Yep, Gamershops hooked it up, dude. Thank fuck. We could not have we, uh, done the trip without well, A lot went wrong. And without yes. without the, the emergency funding of gamers apps, it would have it wouldn't have it wouldn't have gone over well. Or the initial funding. Or the initial funding. <laughs> the initial funding. So shout out gamers apps. We're drinking it right now. It powers the misfits as mm. always. You can use code mm. misfits for ten percent off. Pretty sure it powers this limo. Yeah. Pretty sure, man. <laughs> and also thank you to JBL for also continuing to sponsor the podcast. Yeah, big up JBL. Thank you big very up. much. Big Power. Up. Power. <laughs> Power. <laughs> Powering the misfits podcast. Thank you JBL. So up, how jibble, did this jibble, all start? Jibble. Okay, let's run you through the basic concept for the video um i can't remember who came up with this initially i think it was it was mitchell i think mitchell, it was mitchell or mitchell, or mitchell, sam. Sam. mitchell sam ryan but there was this idea to, to uh, basically split the misfits up into teams of two everyone uh each team buys a used car a funny old used car and less budget than, budget 5k max which five thousand max which if you're if you're in america that you're probably like fuck 5k you could get fucking anything for that mm. melbourne the car market in melbourne especially post covid is like fucked like in all of melbourne there was probably i don't know maybe a hundred cars under <laughs> five grand like <laughs> there wasn't really a lot of a lot of options it was scraping the bottom of the barrel that's five, like five grand, grand was like AU. the minimum you could yeah, get 5k for. AU <laughs> so that's as like well. monopoly money that's like yeah, 20 exactly. bucks yeah mm. But yeah, we uh, we all had to hunt down a car. Mm-hmm. Uh, each team will sort of run you through the cars that we chose. It's been so long to get a car. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> Mason, <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, yeah, so so what were the teams? <laughs> okay, so the teams were the uh, we had Team America, which was Matt and Swagger. Let's mm-hmm. go. We had Team uh, New Zealand, yep. which was myself and Toby. Damn right. And then we had team, Mason yeah, and Team Australia. Hypothetically, uh, Jay as well. Um, Jay unfortunately didn't end up coming on the trip because of scheduling differences and also yeah. Well, we we, got, we had to reschedule the trip like two times. Games. Yeah, it just didn't work out for a bunch of reasons. But so Mason was basically on his own team. Although <laughs> Chad, anything for views uh, came in clutch as well as your your little brother. Yeah, we had to go to the casino to try and convince him, and he kept saying and no. Chad, and, uh, Chad, yeah. He convinced Ryan to give him some money to gamble, and he's like, "Yeah, if we double it, we'll, we'll, I'll come like mm-hmm. tonight." Yep. And uh, they end up chucking it on a couple colors, double it, and then he's like, "No, nah, it's not enough. It's not enough. Fuck, I need more." And then. Like he goes again and then just loses 10k. Like, <laughs> oh god, he lost, he yeah. lost all the money. Yeah, yep. and then he's like, yeah, and I'm he's not like, coming. No, I'm not coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was too late. He was yeah. orally, verbally uh, contracted to come, and so yeah. Chad came along on the trip. But we'll get into that yeah, later. Days later yeah. These are the teams. Mason uh, 
basically was like, fuck that. I'm not going to buy a car. I don't know how to do that because I'm uh, an idiot. <laughs> well, so, uh, <laughs> Mason, not wrong. Mason so, also doesn't yeah. know how to drive a car. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. hey, 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 come on, man. And, you know, there's right. a meeting, like talking about this video. Mason was so scared about the concept <laughs> of having to drive a car. So was Jay, to be fair. Like Jay that doesn't do well in like long road trips. Uh, so like this team was already kind of doomed from the get go. <laughs> and it was agreed that, um, that the sort of Misfits team, Ryan, Mitchell, all these guys would, uh, basically arrange a secret car from Mason to be revealed. Um, and none of the other teams knew what the other teams were buying. Yeah. So yeah. It, was all, it was all secret until the big reveal. So maybe we should start with, with yeah. you start with your car. So I, I, I like scrolled around Facebook marketplace and, and gum tree. And I was, I, I was looking for something like you want something with a bit of character. Cause for five grand, you could have got, you know, you could have got a relatively decent car, but you don't want that. You want something that's going to add character to the video. Yeah. And uh, I, I sent some options over to Fitz. One was just this neon green sex spec rice the fuck out uh, Mitsubishi Lancer, which was fucking disgusting, but would have been gross. and would have been <laughs> such a piece of shit to drive. Yeah. And then the other one was this tiny <laughs> little little bright yellow with like bug eyes suzuki hatch it was a little k car from like from the 80s 1981 I yeah believe. sent it to fitz and fitz was like yeah that's it that's the one that's the one that's love the it right first right sight right. <laughs> yeah. despite it being small and me having concerns about leg room i yeah. was like i don't know i just feel immediately connected to this vehicle so small like it's like a little clown car and push it you yeah can, like, it's like, tiny it's 350 kilos yeah, it's, <laughs> tiny. it's actually right there <laughs> <laughs> i think it's and, actually, doesn't, and doesn't move from there does not move from <laughs> so there. how when how when purchasing it Okay, so I mean, this car was love at first sight, so we drove out to uh, meet the owner. Mm -hmm. The owner was a lovely fellow. Um, he seemed to be quite sentimentally attached to the car, yeah. and he assured us that it was a very reliable machine. They yeah, got, they got up to work every day for years. Um, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it as well. Like he seemed, he was a nice guy, and uh, we trusted him. Uh, we were happy to pay what the asking price even though he was like surprised by that he was like oh you guys well that's the thing you're gonna give me five thousand dollars for this okay <laughs> that's the thing <laughs> if you're selling something on facebook marketplace you always list it for like like 25 percent more than what you actually want for it yeah. because everybody on facebook marketplace lowballs a little haggler yeah. Yeah. yeah we didn't want to haggle he gave us a little bit of a sob story as well so we were like yeah. all right well. <laughs> we're like look, <laughs> look we're it's, it's within yeah. our budget so we'll just buy it yeah um, he was concerned uh, that we would fuck it up or destroy it because Which we did. We were filming and shit, so like he was like, "Okay, they're, they're clearly up to something. Yeah. Like, what's going on here?" But we explained the concept of the video, and he thought it was pretty cool. Um, of course, after we bought the car and drove it home, uh, we immediately proceeded to fuck up, uh, fuck with it a bit. You know, well, we, like, you know, we didn't fuck with it. You decorated, we, it. We decorated, we decorated it. it. We decorated it. We decorated it tastefully. It. It was so fun driving it back from the um, the purchase, though. Like Toby drove it. Oh yeah. The looks we were getting already was just oh, like, yeah. oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> People love it. It, it was just, it's just this tiny little yellow little car. Thing. It's yeah. basically a fucking tin can on wheels. Like it is the metal and like the doors and everything are so thin. Yeah. You're just so close yeah. to the road and everything. It's just a shell. It's so <laughs> sketchy, <laughs> and it it didn't drive great, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah, and it, you know, it seemed to work alright. Yeah. We parked it in the Misfits office and then we later decided to decorate it because of like the yellow vibe, um, you know, we sort of named it Sunny. Mm. We were like, okay, it's a kind of a sunny car. And so we decided to paint the car by hand, uh, <laughs> which was, you know, an experience. Yeah. We, uh, I'm not a great artist. <laughs> no, neither, neither is I. I've, I've written a paragraph about it here. We, we painted grass along the bottom of the car. Mm. Okay. And we painted some flowers stemming up. Beautiful. Accompanied by buzzy bees. Yeah, buzzy bees. Uh, due to our lack of artistic talent, the paint often smeared and trickled down the side of the car. Yeah, we, we used a bit <laughs> much paint, oh, um, and there was a bit <laughs> yeah. of dribbling. Resulting in a almost psychedelic landscape. Yep. Um, the bees looked scary. <laughs> <laughs> but not as scary as what we did on the pillars. <laughs> Yo, tell me about that. <laughs> it was a car that might attract small children, but upon closer inspection, frightened them. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's accurate. Naturally, it's naturally, this instills a core memory in the child about the dangers of approaching strange vehicles. So really, ah, we're just doing our part. That's very good. Uh, we thought it was a good idea. <laughs> Honestly, it, was, it started out looking pretty good. Yeah. We painted the top blue, like some clouds on it. So it was like a real I spray yeah, painted the whole, vibe. I spray yeah. painted the roof blue and it just looked... It looked pretty fucking terrible. And yeah. then Fitz came in and drew some clouds on it, and fuck me, it looked great. It looked so great. It saved it. <laughs> uh, at my suggestion, Toby attempts to paint a Japanese rising oh, sun no. on the hood of the hatchback. 
Uh, naturally, she completely fucks up the proportions. <laughs> and I painted it in brown. It looked racist. <laughs> um, it was clearly painted by a white woman. Yeah. Um, it yeah. was awful, really. It was like, oh, no, we should not but have I painted. But I put my phone on a fucking song. Can't just call me. <laughs> Mason, tilt your fucking microphone towards your I'm mouth if you're going to swear. Okay? This is the Misfits podcast, for God's sakes. Holy shit. Oh, hit the box. Fuck <laughs> that. Mason just loves throwing things out of this limousine, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, <this. laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, Toby was able to somewhat redeem herself by spray painting a GamerSup's logo in the center of the mm. rising sun. It, 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 oh, it genuinely saved it. This distracted from the offensive proportions <laughs> and at the very least made GamerSup's, made GamerSup's look racist instead of us. <laughs> so uh, that's good. Shout out GamerSup's once again for sponsoring the video. Sponsoring thank the you, thank you. Thank you. And then uh, we decided it would be a fun idea to each paint a portrait well, of the Well, what happened was we <laughs> we had painted the car and it looked great, but we just noticed that on the, like, B pillars at the back, it was just, there was there was nothing there. It was, it was just this blank canvas. We could do better. We and thought. we were discussing what to put on there and we thought, you know what, we could, we could just paint a little portrait of each other. <laughs> yeah. So on one side of the car, Fitz paints me. Yeah. And I think it's a really, you'll have to see in the video, but it's a really, really great. <laughs> A resemblance. I'm a little bit drippy. <laughs> I've written in here, these were horrifying. Uh, <laughs> abstract works that reveal the darkness in both of us that I'm still processing to this day. Yeah, um, that's... They were awful. They were like, it was like yeah. scary. It made us look scary. They were both they, terrible. They, they kind of distracted from the sunny vibe of the car and just made it uh, look fearsome, I would say. <laughs> to be fair, we were using house painting brushes mm. yeah. as well as house paint. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, but it's all right, you know. Hey, the paint held up. Uh, Basically, I guess <laughs> people that were driving next to us got to see. Oh, look, there's a. I wonder if that's what the person driving the car looks like. Yeah. See that painting? Drive up. Oh, yep. It is the person that's driving the car. A little bit different, yeah. but uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, with that we we put honk for Jesus on the back, and we thought that's a job well done. Yeah. The car's ready. Yeah. And so we awaited the reveal. No, I guess we're oh, talk about dude. their car. So, so y you did a lot of the heavy lifting for this, Matt. So, why don't you go over how you found the car okay. and what it was? Um, God, where do we begin? I remember we were browsing Facebook Marketplace. I linked you like a van at first. Yeah, originally, we were thinking like a van. Like we just could for pimp like, it out, camp yeah, pimp in it. it out. You could actually stay in there. Like it'd be, it'd be cozy. It would be useful. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but then it wouldn't really be funny. Enough. It wouldn't be funny, and it would also be a pain in the ass. So you found? Ah uh, man, I was scrolling through Honda Civic. So I'm like, you know man. what's funny? Uh -huh. uh, the day that we bought Fitz's car, I was like, you probably yeah, knew what I was, I was like, going to get. I was like, I can tell you what car that's going to show up in. I can guess, and I said exactly the car that you oh, happened honestly, to show yeah. up in. I guess I was yeah. like, oh, she's probably going to get like a little K car or something like Which that. Which is exactly what I yeah, got. Because exactly we were like, we were talking about him on the way to the office yeah. that day, where it was revealed to us. Yeah. We're like talking about little K cars and shit. Yeah. So what did you decide on? Oh yeah, so came across some honda civics and i was like man it'd be funny if you like buy an ebay turbo throw it on this thing something silly you get like something stupid and yeah. ridiculous yeah and then i scrolled through and i saw one it was the perfect car it had an ebay turbo on it aftermarket wheels coilovers it had the fucking three-point harness yeah it had like a four-point harness like the bucket seats it had like a shifter that like goes all the way up it was here a massive shit. Knob. It was, the thing was horrible. hilarious it was <laughs> oh so bad it was so bad <laughs> Dude, we we go we go with it was with Mitchell and Blue, we mm. were Mitchell and Chris. Yeah, and we we go to p pick up this car, and we meet the guy, and he's here with his friends, and they're very hospitable. They give us a case of V and um and a bunch of chips, and That's then nice of them. yeah, it was very nice of them. And they started going over the car, and we're looking at this car, and dude, remember he was showing you under the hood? Yeah, we took it for a test drive around the block real quick. We came back. And he's like, oh, yeah, he's showing me under the hood. And he's like, oh, there's the turbo. So just the air just intakes right into the turbo and pipes in. I'm like, where's the air filter? <laughs> His eyes are just, oh, yeah, and he, uh, and he I looked. think it fell off. Yeah, and he goes, he goes, oh, um, yeah, that must have fallen <laughs> off. And I'm like, what do you mean it fell off? He goes, oh, it probably just like, you know, disconnected from the car and like fell off because there was just a hole. Like underneath. So what is just falling off and hit the road and just bit on the road? <laughs> And so, yeah, you, you were able like, to get a little price deduction. Yeah, I'm like, that's a red flag. Uh, so, like, what's the danger of it not being there? You're just, like, sucking up in, like, air and dust and everything. It's just going straight in the it engine. It smelled through, horrible. Through the the interior man. smelled horrible. Oh, I'm well aware. No, like, for the engine. <laughs> like, it, yeah, it sucks it in. Like, it's sucking in all the air. Yeah. It's getting dust, dirt, and it's, like, going in the engine, bounce around, chipping it oh, and shit. Oh, I see, I see. That's why you have an air filter in there, but... Oh my god! Even the test drive, it was horrible. It was like, really bad. It just was like it just gas, like it smelled terrible. The revs weren't working. Yeah, it wasn't you only tuned. rev it up like halfway, and then the car just fucking. 
<laughs> just start fucking dying. He's like, no, that's yeah, normal. And that's we were, fine. And, and by the end of it, we were like, yeah, this thing's perfect. And then we went to buy it. <laughs> and like, he, he got like a couple hundred dollars out of it. I think we paid what? Four, four point two. Yeah. 4.2? We agreed 40? on like four and a half, but then we yeah, saw it and I'm like, Yeah, you're like, bro, there's no air no, filter. I can't give you this in good conscience, man. This is fucked. <laughs> yeah, and so they were haggling and they sent all in the price. And so we're sitting down, we're in the car, we're about to leave. And the, and the guy comes back and he goes, hey, man, just promise me you'll keep this car, like the car in good condition. Like, this means so much to me. It was like my passion project for years. Like, <laughs> so much know, sentimental just, attachment yeah, to please, it. Please keep good care of it. Yeah. And, and then we, we were like, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. And then we, we go. walks away. I just look at him and I'm like, oh, at no. It. Dude, we, I just go. <laughs> well, that, that's oh. the thing. Like. The car might have been a pile of shit and might have been done terribly. But it's his pile of shit. But the thing is, he would have put so much time and effort yes. into that to make it how shit it is. And that's just because <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing. Dude, they had, they had a <laughs> that's huge That's what's funny. It's like he knew just it. enough to be dangerous. Mm. Whereas like, oh, the distributor O-ring's gone. I'm going to tear it off another car in a junkyard and stick it in. Oh, why is it leaking? <laughs> like, <laughs> right, right. It's... Oh. It was legit. Like he had a sticker on the on the front, the windshield that said "built not bought," and we thought it was the funniest shit. And so, wh what did we buy? What we got a spoiler. Do you want? We need a. Do you want the parts list? Like no, we don't need the whole parts. It's like <laughs> the shit that was notable. It was uh, we, the big ass spoiler. We had a, big a massive wing on there. spoiler that we spray painted with glow in the dark paint. <laughs> um, we, we had got a train horn. We put a train we horn. Put up a train on horn there. with a compressor, so we had a full on train horn. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Or two as we well. had Just we we break. put an underglow. <laughs> yeah, the underglow. Um, we had pool tile wrap, vinyl wrap yeah. that we that we did the skirting with. Uh, uh, carbon, fiber carbon fiber wrap. Fiber wrap for the skirting too. Spray paint. The U.S. Spray flag. Paint, uh, oh yeah. Uh, we US spray flag. painted a U.S. flag on the on the on the hood. There's so oh, many what are, hentai stickers. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we sticker bond the back the back. Couple of gamer subs ones in there the too. The as well. Uh, we did a lot to that fucking what, car. What was the uh, what was that one detail you did on the side door? Oh, dude. the back pass. You want to we tell were, that story? We were we were <laughs> looking at it, and I and we we had one panel on one of the the back. It was like the back left side door, and and I was like, dude, something's missing here. You're like, yeah, I don't know, like spray paint or stickers, and I was like. And I looked at everyone, I go, what if I just, like, carved Cheater into the side panel <laughs> of the car, like, like in all caps? <laughs> and everyone started dying, and I was like, I'm doing that. And so I got, like, this fucking ice pick, and I scratched, like, really deep into the metal Cheater. Like, <laughs> like it looked like a crazy egg. Made, like, made, dude, and it made, like, this, because the car before looked like it was just, like, a big fucking joke. Like, you know, this is completely ironic. And as soon as I scratched, like, Cheater into it, it's like, dude, it gave it lore. Yeah. Like, the car had, like, <laughs> Lure. Like someone looks at it and they're like, "Oh my god, what life is this fucking person living?" <laughs> but it was it was sick. And then he had to drive it. <laughs> he had to he had to oh, drive it when it was finished fucking, and do and do uh, work on it at his house. Um, yeah, didn't even drive. I had to get it running for like the first couple of weeks. I remember that. I think I got his turbo working because it wouldn't even like rev up all the way. Like as soon as the turbo kicks in, the engine would just fucking die. Uh, and I found out you could fix that by like venting out some of the air, going to a map sensor. So I went to the Fitch, uh, this part store that was right next to the auto parts store. Yeah. Got like 20 bucks in like these fish tank valves, shoved them in there, some vacuum lines, and it fucking worked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. fixed the car with the fucking like fish tank parts. Yeah, Fuck so yeah. that was our, our little Honda. We also had giant subs in the back. The back seat was just literally amps and yeah. like an inverter. <laughs> And yeah, the thing was fucking crazy and ridiculous, and yeah. we wanted to get more shit for it, but it was it was honestly just kind of overkill at that point. I it was could have sat there for like weeks shit. and added more. Yeah, and dude, more it shit. was it was hilarious. Yeah. It was so funny. And then yeah, we we basically had it ready to go. We had some hentai stickers in the in the passenger seat. Fuck yeah. We had some what, what the fuck the little tykes fucking whatever floor mat. Oh, yeah. oh what was the, that shit? you know the little. Matt, you put on the floor as a kid, and you yeah. have like your Hot Wheels cars and stuff. Yeah, yeah. we had like car mats. Yeah, we had car mats. It was literally like that. It was, it was, it was one hell of a meme. It was beautiful. And meanwhile, yeah, a work uh, of art. The Mason's car was being arranged as well. Yeah, uh, of course which I, I didn't do that. anything on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the basic plan was that we we would we all met up at a parking lot um, before the ferry. And yeah, we had to take a ferry. We had to take a boat yeah, over to Tasmania with all the all the all the cars. Yeah, obviously, the cars aren't gonna be flown over. It's a fucking nine-hour ferry trip. So we uh, 
yeah, we met up and we got ready to see each other's monstrosities. And one by one, we all pulled in. First, yeah. first was Fitz and I, which was already problematic yeah. because it wouldn't start without so a push. Blue right. and I arrive at the office because no one, like pretty much no one in the Misfits production team, can drive manual. So I had to drive to the office to go pick up our car yeah. because I was the only one that could drive manual. And then uh, we went to go start it, and it just didn't start. Yeah. And we're like, okay, maybe the battery's dead. So I, we jumped it with my car, and we got it going, and then it would die again. And we're like, fuck, this is pretty worrying. <laughs> uh, and then we managed to get it going like long enough to drive it, and we drove it all the way down to where we needed to go. Mm-hmm. It was a fun drive, but it was a sketchy drive because we knew if it just cut out, then it was fucked. What were the reactions like on the road? Oh, people loved it. With the honk yeah. for Jesus, we were getting so many honks. <laughs> so uh, good. <laughs> it was a great time. And the thing is, it, it has a little like horn that's like really, it's just got a really cute horn. Yeah. It's the kind of horn that you can honk at people just as like a thank you and like a, like yeah, a, it's like an endearing honk. And people just love it. <laughs> so like we were just driving around, people would honk, would honk in the back. It was, it was, it was a good time. And we parked it like uh, out around the corner from the parking lot. We went to go turn it on and it wouldn't turn on, so we yeah. couldn't get it in. Some dude across the road told us how to push start it. Because we were like, yeah, we'll just push start it. And then we're like, does anyone actually know how to push start a car? And we <laughs> did it. And this guy across the road was like, yeah, you just do. And he just told me what to do. We got it going. Yeah, we pull into the parking lot. And uh, yeah, what did you guys think yeah, of what it? What was first? your first reaction to Sonny? It was, like, oh, it was adorable. My <laughs> first thought is, how the fuck is Fitz going to fit in this clown car? <laughs> like, how the hell is he gonna, and it was so light, you could move it with like two hands. Yeah, well, the good thing about it being such a shell was that like there really wasn't a lot inside the car. So there's actually quite a deep amount of legroom. Yeah. Like I was perfectly comfortable with it. There was, it was nothing great. in the car. It is, yeah. There's nothing in there. Just a middle box. It yeah. Literally, another like, another thing is like, this is not safe. If you get into an accident, you're oh, fucked. I thought ours yeah. was dangerous having yeah. no airbags. I bought us like we helmets no and airbags. shit. We had, we had no airbags. We didn't have, didn't have an air con. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah, we had air con. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, that car is a fucking death trap. Yeah. And they're in the wrong situation. It is a death trap. Um, but it, it's fun. <laughs> it's definitely fun. What did you think, Maze, when you first saw it? Your son, you're the sunny. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I was pretty impressed by the work, <laughs> considering I did nothing. But um, I think both cars were really good. Yeah. And, but mine was the best. Yours was yours, comfiest. Yours came last. Let's yeah. say comfiest. So Matt, Matt and Swagger drove theirs around the corner next. Yeah, we came in. I had, so like we all had like kind of themes for our cars. So obviously Fitz and Toby was like 1980s kind of theme. Yeah. Ours was like, like racer, boy rally racer. Yeah, kind, of, kind of deal. <laughs> so like I wore the fucking trip suit from way back in the day, the, uh, <laughs> The, the off-white fucking jumpsuit yeah, that, that I purchased. So it literally, like, you know, it was like a racetrack suit. It worked perfectly. So I yeah. had that, you know, the ball of clava, and then uh, we got a, uh, we got, like, two 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 motorcycle helmets, and then I, I spray-painted one of the helmets to look like the, like the fucking, the actual night helmet, and then I wore yeah. that, and that was, like, the costume for, like, the whole trip. Yeah, we just rolled in, we were blasting fucking, like, what was Tokyo, Tokyo Drift, Drift. Or some shit. Yeah. and yeah, we got out the MCA'd. car. We're getting ridiculous. Some... Right, so yeah, Sergeant Matt pulled up. It's fucking hilarious. Like, it's it's kind of what I expected. Although yeah. We did the train horn. E- even more over the top. Like, the decoration was out of this it world. It was ridiculous. From the tiling on the side to the fucking hentai stickers everywhere to the cheater scratched in the side. <laughs> it was perfect. The train was... horn as well. Fuck. It was the that essence of, like, a, a bogan crafted car. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Mad Max. It was, like, very much the uh That was the direction of Mad Max, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but it was hilarious. Um, there was a lot to go over. There was a lot to go over. There you was guys, a lot. You guys had the fucking like raid horn in it as well. Yeah, right? we had the whole train horn. Yeah, yeah. The train horn oh with the big oh, yeah. compressor I, in the trunk. I didn't even think they knew what it did. Like I think Mitchell didn't know what it did. So he like, yeah, I was like, go ahead. He's like, what's the red yeah. switch? I'm like, yeah, you flip it up and flip it. This fucking switch that you like. It's like a missile silo switch. You have to flip the little. You got to flip the thing, and then you flick another thing, and then you got to turn a key, and then fucking goes. It was so loud. It, I, actually, like someone was running past. It like, scared on a the jog, shit out of them. They him. jumped and they like she scared. Yeah, like, yeah. Flipped she us was off. So mad. It was, like, made them jump out there. It's good. <laughs> All right, that was that was. That was hilarious. pretty much it. Everyone, everyone was like very good, very good. And then it was the the last reveal, which yep. is what we're in right which now. Is what we're in right and now. Mason, the whole morning was like. It's got to be a limo. I want a limo. I better be in the back of a limo. Because Mason knew that he was, because he doesn't have his license, he was going to be being driven around in whatever they bought. 
So he had it in his head that the best car to be driven around in is a limo. It's a limo. <laughs> so he Man, was foreshadowing the whole time, it's got to be a limo. Yeah. And what fucking pulls around the corner but a bright pink Cadillac limo. <laughs> what is it, 1980 something? Something, yeah, 80 something. Driven by uh, Chris in a pink suit yep. and a bowler hat. That yeah, also he, has he, a... he spilled petrol all over his suit the, the, <laughs> the fucking morning that he, he wore. So uh... from day one. His whole suit smelled like fucking petrol, <laughs> and the car, like the car also smelled smells like petrol. Even right does. now, I'm getting a yeah. bit of a headache we, right now. It yeah. is so stuffy in this. Who wants limousine. to explain how fucked up this limo is? Oh, so this mate. limousine, well, yeah, you, yeah, you explain. We've got an amber window to our left with a luxurious view. Um, <laughs> ashtrays that are snapped in half, uh, windows that don't work, uh, either, interior either that's peeled down. down. Yep. Um, a smash window too, which is fantastic. Uh, well, we smashed that. Yeah, we sh- ended up smashing that window. Yeah, what else? Yeah, what about the roof? Screens that don't work. The roof that's sinking in. Um, and on the, the top, it's yeah, like the canvas is peeled <laughs> up. Yeah, it's all peeled and shit. Yeah, the outside. I can't d- decide what's more fucked: the outside of the car or the inside of the car. So oh, the outside. Totally. The trunk. So basically, was it was it like the car was originally gas, and then it was conver- No, it was diesel, and then it was converted to gas. Like propane. Yeah. Yeah, to like actual natural fucking gas. So there's a giant gas canister. <laughs> Like in the back, as well as like a very leaky, fucking horrible to, to to fill up like gas tank for gasoline, mm. and if and and it just reeks of gas. He couldn't smoke cigarettes in this car. Yeah, I had to walk like twenty meters away. You had to, you had to, you had to treat, <laughs> this car was like a mobile gas station. If you let up anything near it, the, the thing would have gone up in flames. <laughs> but the, the the one of the biggest problems with this car is that uh, that window beside matt only goes down halfway i think and it don't oh, it there goes the switch for the window i just and, poked it down oh <laughs> just <laughs> fell in the door and it doesn't go up Uh-oh. and that window beside fits doesn't move th- that doesn't move it's stuck and up. this door doesn't open at all and the, yeah the door doesn't <laughs> open it might as well be a wall the front yeah. window is permanently down yeah. and the yeah. other front window is it works but it's just really 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 slow and it gets a bit chilly, uh, one could say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it gets <laughs> a bit right chilly. The back of it. But the seats are pretty comfy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. The seats are quite comfy. It could be worse. It's a Cadillac and at the end of the day. Yeah. If there's not five people in it, it is pretty roomy yeah. as well. Which and is which had not farting in it. Yeah, when you guys had two, <laughs> when it was only two of you in here, I reckon it was, you, yeah. you think you guys had a lot of room. Kick up our legs. Yeah, chill you out. guys had to end up fucking carrying around more than you bargained for. How many people we do get you have to in the back of here? We, we, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Yeah. But, you know. But yeah, this limo was previously owned by Raka Raka. Sat in their driveway for icons. three years. Yeah, they they did some filming with it where they already fucked it up, and then they just let it deteriorate. Um, so it was kind of like they weren't doing anything with it. So uh, I think Chris drove down to Adelaide and fucking, yeah, drove, fucking drove it, drove it, it all like the way back. Hours. Yeah. So anyway, limo was uh limo was fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> we we yeah. knew like it was gonna be uh I mean an we, interesting experience. When we some random in, some yeah. random lady came up and was like, "Oh, I need this for like a wedding." Yeah, like, was, can <laughs> anyone can can do you guys think you could you know if you if you have it for free you know yeah. maybe come around and do do a wedding thing and Chris was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll take your number." Yeah, yeah. But is that, is it reliable pinks, enough? It's not like break picture. down for, on a wedding day. Yeah, we're like, oh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We're gonna test it in Tasmania for a fucking week. Cigarette near it. Yeah. Yeah, she was very enamored with the limo. As were we. I mean, yeah. it was great. It was exciting. We had all three cars in the parking lot. The ferry was in sight. Yep. We couldn't wait. We were like, let's get these cars so on the So excited boat. to get all three of the cars on the ferry. Oh, the getting the cars Tasmania. on the ferry wasn't that hard, though. Like, that was, well, like, that was getting pretty... two of the cars <laughs> on the ferry oh, wasn't that hard. <laughs> it was a little interesting. So, like, yeah, basically the ferry was uh, very early the next morning. Uh, yeah. Crack of dawn. So you and I arrived at the office at, like, what? Six, something like that. Yeah. Like, we woke up fucking early. I was excited. Yeah. God, I God. didn't sleep. We'll yeah, be all night. Yeah, we were storing Sunny at the office. So um, Toby and I pull up at 6 a.m. Still fucking dark out. Then uh, Blue, Mitchell, and Ryan come as well. And uh, we're like, all right, let's, let's start her up. Of course, Sunny just doesn't start. Yeah. Um, as she hasn't been. I don't know why we expected it would go off without a hitch. Uh, yeah. We I left mean, a bit of time so that we could jumpstart it because we kind of thought, oh, if we can jumpstart it, like we'll be able to get it to the ferry. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be awkward when we have to jumpstart it leaving the ferry, but that's okay. It'll be fine, we thought. Because we got it. Because on the, like, when we did the, when we showed everyone the car, we were able to push start it and it push started fine, worked yeah. fine. When we left, we were able to push start it and it worked fine. So that morning we were like, all right, well, let's go to push up the road. Yeah. Didn't stop. Gave it another 
three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight pushes up the it road. Was a lot of pushes, a lot of time. We were a lot of, it, it was, was like we were, It was like we were up that early, and all of a sudden we were having to push this car up and down the street, like yeah. really giving it a crack. And we were pushing it so way hard. faster and like way harder than we were the other time that we yeah. got it going, and it just was not working. It, wasn't working. it got to the point where we were like, F- all right, let's get Matt in his Civic to drive oh, behind yeah. it oh, and yeah. push it with his car <laughs> yeah. to yep. see if we can push start it that way. Still didn't work. Tried jumping it with Matt's car. That didn't work. And eventually, like, the, the, the ferry departure time's approaching, and we're just realizing we might just have to cut our losses and leave yeah. Sunny behind. It um, was tragic. It was cause, horrible. Because if we, like, it was either leave Sunny behind or delay the ferry trip by a whole day, which would completely fuck the trip and all the scheduling and everything. So we are like, man, I guess we yeah. can't take Sunny. After all this work we put into it, after how excited we oh, were about so driving excited. it around, I was devastated. I was like... It was a bad, bad story. It was a bad start, but, you know... There's nothing else for it. Like, we couldn't get it on the boat, so we just had to stay positive and be like, all right, I guess we'll travel in the limo. We'll travel. We'll, we'll break it up. We'll figure it out. Maybe we'll get Sunny over later. Yeah. I drive with Matt in uh, his shitbox to the ferry. I'm, I'm in the limo with I, you yeah, know, everyone else. I'm noticing uh, strange smells coming out of Matt's car. I'm like, thank God I'm not ri- driving in this thing because it smells yeah. fucking horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're getting some stairs. And yeah, we, we pull up to the ferry and there's man, there's a big line of, of cars boarding this motherfucking boat. Um, the limousine got on without a hitch. Mm-hmm. Matt's car got on without a hitch. They love the limo, apparently. Yeah, they yeah. love the limo. So many pictures, so many people yeah. talking. And and this whole trip, we had walkie-talkies oh, to, so to communicate fun. through through each of the different cars seamlessly without delay, no signal, didn't matter. So Walkies it was just great. cool to talk over the walkie-talkies and yeah. communicate as we're all going through. And like we're fucking tuning into some of the frequencies of like the actual spirit of Tasmania, the actual ferry. The security staff. Yeah, the shit. security staff talking. Them. Yeah, it was good. So funny. Yeah, we got the cars on the boat. Except Sunny, yeah, um, I cried about it, and then uh, yeah, I got it was, over it. It was you know? it's what it is. It's one of those things. And Mitchell's brother was trying to fix Sunny and trying to source the parts, but the problem is, like, when an alternator is fucked on a car from the eighties, and mm. it's not just—it's not a common car either. Like, yeah. that is the only one of that car I've ever seen in Australia. So, like, yeah. it's not easy to find the parts to fix that. And we, you know, we had our fingers crossed that it was going to be able to get fixed, and someone would take it over. Um, but. Yeah. It was hopeless. Yeah. Sad. But that's all right. We got on the ferry. We're like, fuck it. The ferry was it was all right. Still going to Tassie. It was boring. I, I slept mean. I slept the whole time. The only yeah. thing I remember that was really good was I walk up and we're like going up the stairs and then we're going to like the like the back of the ship and there's this big fucking fat guy, <laughs> this fucking huge obese motherfucker, like 500, 600 pounds, and he had his shirt on like a fucking quadruple XL and it said, exercise? I thought you said extra fries, and then there was a picture of some French fries, and I was like, "That dude is my fucking spirit animal. This dude's a, this, this guy's a legend." I, I'm like, "We're really going to Tasmania. If these are the people that are in Tasmania, dude. This is so interesting." I don't think you got off the boat. You were sleeping the whole time. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I think I saw them rolling down the ramp. No, um, yeah, no. As soon as we landed, they they threw him off and weighed anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's horrible. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Uh, here at the Misfits, we hate the morbidly obese. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, we got to Tassie, no problem. We actually got recognized on the boat, which would have been so funny for that fan if you're yeah. listening. I don't know your name, but uh must have been funny to see us on the Spirit of Tasmania. It's like, what the fuck are the Misfits doing on a boat like at fucking 10 in the morning? <laughs> but uh, that was pretty good as well. So yeah, we get to Tasmania. We pull up at Devonport. Which mm-hmm. Fucking beer the, bottles uh, roll out as we open the doors, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tasmania. <laughs> we get the limo and the and the... The Honda, right? The Honda yeah. off yep. the off the thing. We also took a van and Ryan's car, so we had like the crew yeah. driving as yeah, well. We had a little convoy. We um we go to this lighthouse first, right? We go well, to we, first we go to the we went to these cabins we were staying at for the night, yeah. and then and then we drove out to a lighthouse. We went to a lighthouse because we were going to get briefed on what was going to happen the next day. Uh, Mason uh, actually. You might remember this, Mason. Um, mm. I, this. Uh, I think he. I uh, done did, nothing. Did he throw something? I got a little note here. It says, um, "Mason bet me a thousand dollars I couldn't oh. climb up oh. onto a rock." Yeah, yeah, I definitely did that. That I was mean, by the uh, sea. I've risked my life, and to this day, he denies that he owes me a cent. We're gonna um, talk about how I may or may have not vandalized the lighthouse. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh you rock yeah, it, it, yeah, it wasn't. It. It, he didn't like actively. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, you it. only you only purposefully threw a, threw a fucking baseball sized rock at this I, historic lighthouse on, and it fucking like, dented it. It's just like a skipping rock. <laughs> Nothing big. That lighthouse had plenty of dents. Yeah. <laughs> and no, but I said no for that bet, by the way. Well, he bet uh, me that I couldn't climb up on this rock, which was like 
isolated in the sea. I had to jump <laughs> over dangerous water to get which, to it. Which is why yeah, I said no pretty... after because I didn't want you jumping over jagged rocks. Yeah, but you. Only... It was kind of impressive. It was very you... impressive. I was I, pole I got, champing. I the whole got time. soaked. <laughs> yeah, you were shocked. I, as soon as I jumped, like a huge wave came up and went, <laughs> went all over me. Um, but I did it, and Mason owes me a thousand dollars. That's the short listen, end of it. Man, yeah. Listen, maybe, maybe not. My first impression of Tasmania is where the fuck is everyone? There was nobody there. Empty. It's it was quiet. so so quiet, it's and it was calm. beautiful. Yeah, it was. Really it was pretty. so yeah. beautiful. Like a little mini New Zealand, but like yeah, dude. no people around. Then the port was kind of lit. Yeah, it was nice. Well, that night, um, oh yeah, one, oh, of, the, one right. of the crew members accidentally Manuel, left well no he went to get chicken he went to get dinner he went to a chook shop yeah and and he went there and he had um his his off-white bag this it was this little this little thing that he's had supreme forever bag. or supreme yeah it was a white supreme bag and he's had it forever and he had like a cabin key in there he had ryan's passport in there yeah. he had a bunch of really important shit and he left it there and his card and his card and he left it there yeah and Which is, uh, as we refer to in this uh, friend group, a dumb cunt move. Yeah, yeah. Dumb cunt move. <laughs> well, he, he, fucked up. He, he lost the bag. He fumbled the bag. Mm. And Ryan was like, I think someone's using my card. Think no, it was, no, it was, it was, Manuel. was Manuel's card. Oh, I think oh, someone's was using it? It was yeah. Manuel's card. I think someone's uh-huh. using my card. And then we were like, uh-oh. And then, yeah, some guy fucking stole, went to the chook shop, stole the bag, and started going on a spending spree. Yeah. He went to multiple supermarkets. Yeah. He went he to Kohl's. He, he, he bought know. food. Massage place. Yeah, he, yeah, went, he, he got went a to massage. A massage this, was, this was at like 10 p.m. He yeah, went to a really massage late. parlor Fucking and, 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 made, and made multiple purchases at this massage parlor, which you just know he was getting jacked off. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, we, yeah, we decided to call up the massage parlor and sort of get like, a description, get a bit of an interrogation, go and see if they knew anything about yeah. a potential thief. The lady was like very old and confused sounding. Yeah. Um, and uh, but she did say that an older gentleman uh, was there just before and was in a hurry. He was he was a very antsy gentleman, and that he uh, kept telling her to hurry up and get to the end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So we can only assume that uh, this thief had an orgasm on Ryan's dime. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he was struggling because he wanted it to hurry he, up. He wanted to hurry yeah. up and just get to the happy ending. So we decided, you know what? Uh, we know the general area this guy has been. He was literally going yeah. up and down the strip. Yeah, yeah. Like central Google this. Maps. I'm like, oh, he went to Woolies. And then on the same road, he went to the massage, massage place. place. I'm like, oh, there's like a, a what is it, like an Indian food place. I'm like, surely he goes there yeah, next after having goes a wank. up and down the street. <laughs> so we all got in this car. And our car also came with, it, this came with the car. We had a fucking baseball bat in our trunk. <laughs> just, just, and just it, the guy threw it in there for free. So we weren't going to complain. <laughs> and so, you know, we, we were like, okay, well, let's see if we could find this this guy walking around with, with, with Manuel's bag. So we all kind of went out to the search party okay, for like an hour. The under- Low lights, yeah. fucking. Yeah, we went there. up and down yeah, the streets trying was, to find him. It was mainly, well, part of it was just it was something to do, but the other part of it was finding Ryan's passport because, yeah. yeah, like, fucking annoying thing you know, lose. you lose a card, you can get the bank to pay you back, but losing a passport's fucking annoying. Yeah. What if it was the exercise and extra fires guy? That's a theory. Well, we didn't really see anyone in town. All we saw was a crackhead. Yeah, um, so we yeah. pulled up next to, like, across the road from this Domino's, and there was this homeless guy outside. outside. Well, he had Woolies bags, which was like a, you know, oh, yeah. a clue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the guy went to Woolies. It might be the guy. He's, He's an older gentleman. He's kind of antsy. Yeah. He's yeah. in a hurry. So Sam was in the back of the, of the, of Ryan's car, filming, like, pretty hidden filming the guy at the back while we were talking like we think that might be him that might be him and then the guy starts walking over to us i don't think i don't know if he saw sam filming but he started walking over to us and was shouting at us yeah and then tried to pee on ryan's car yeah and we just sped off and drove what? around the corner like what the fuck and pissed. then and then we called in to swagger and matt we're like hey can you go over to the dominoes and see if there's a sketchy looking guy there <laughs> we couldn't find him he yeah. disappeared into the into the fucking bushes or something he simply vanished i thought he would have opened the doors if we didn't move yeah like, he was coming out to but fucking kill us we but- we then called the lady again and we were like hey so did the guy have a beard and she's like, nah, no beard. And we're like, oh, fuck. So it wasn't him. Yeah, it was, even, it was <laughs> just some random homeless guy. We were just guy. harassing some dude. It's a, we didn't actually harass him. <laughs> well, we to be the, fair, he was going to piss on the corner. Yeah. So. Better he piss on ours than theirs. Yeah, way better. We lost the trail. Meanwhile, uh, Swagger and Matt were talking to some guy in a walkie-talkie who appeared to be stranded at sea. Yeah. Where were you? He was stranded on a, what was he, he kept was, calling he was, in a, he was on the beach. He on, was the like, he was, on the bluff. He was on yeah. the bluff. He was stuck he, in a bluff. It was <laughs> some guy, some guy <laughs> was going through, bluff. some guy was going through like a bunch of channels on the walkie-talkie and trying to like get some help because his car got stuck like on the beach. 
like in a bunch of fucking whatever and he needed help and so he was like is it you know hey like can i get some help we were like uh, you're on the wrong channel but like we could help you if you want and he yeah was we're like, like spog side quest yeah, yeah, yeah I got, I got the, little, the, um, the big bright orange like <laughs> the it, stuck track thing and, and, so and i got him mounted on the roof rack of the car I'm like I mean, yeah get this guy out before we offered to help him i was kind of fucking with him i was just like yeah. what, what do you need like what, what are you asking for i made him like repeat like a himself. fucking bit in like a video <laughs> <laughs> i made, I made him repeat himself like eight times and he started screaming over the radio like i need fucking help like and all that and i was like okay well, like, we could do that for you. And he was like, is this the emergency channel? Like, are you guys, like, the police? And I was like, no, we are not the police. We are not, th this is not the emergency channel. Like, this last thing I wanted to do was impersonate a cop yeah. on radio. But I was like, hey, we can still help you. We have a roof rack. We, you know, we can, like, you know, we probably have some shit that could help you out. You're being vague about yeah, it. You if, an, like, if an off-roader. <laughs> can help you. <laughs> if an SUV got stuck on a bluff there is no way the civic was getting out there to help it no. but we yeah. got ratchet straps no way no. <laughs> you know so then ended up falling looks... through he stopped responding and that so was sad we lost the side quest we did lose the side quest we failed the main quest you can only and, assume he died yeah and then the next day we were we had to set off to uh go to what was it cradle Radio mountain next. That's right. Well, right well, first yeah. of all, we went and got some camping equipment. Uh, That's true. And in this parking lot while we were kind of getting a lot of supplies, oh. uh, Chad, Eric oh, yeah. from Gamer Subs, and uh, Kobe's his, yeah. little brother Kobe yeah, all pulled so up. So this was, this was the next day. Yeah. We, we were briefed at the lighthouse that we had to go to Cradle Mountain yeah. and that we were going to go camping. Yeah. So, you know, wake up the next day. We go to the nearest, like... It was like, there was like a Bunnings, there was a camping store, and there was some other shit. And yeah, so we had like a budget of five hundred dollars for each team to go out, buy our equipment, yeah. and all, then all go was camping. Going well. Fitz and I never got told there was a budget. We were just walking around grabbing shit. We didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we started doing all that. All was all was going good until um the fucking car the limo broke down again. Yeah, oh, no, the first yeah. time. This so is when, it, this would start. So Chris had, was driving the limo for for Mason, and um, I don't. Uh, we were in the back of the limo, were we, Fitz? Yeah. Yeah. We were traveling in the limo with Mason. Yeah. Uh, Chris was driving, and Chris had to drive Manuel to the airport, so he he took off in the van, and uh, Ryan basically just said, yeah, Toby, you're driving the limo. And I was like, oh, okay. We go to start the limo, and this is the beginning of... Uh, of me fucking everything up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Except I didn't actually do anything, but yeah. I went to turn on the limo, and it didn't fucking start. <laughs> And uh, oh. we were we were we were pretty fucking worried at that point that this was going to be the end of uh, <laughs> the trip. The end of the yeah, car. Like, what else could possibly go wrong? But we called the AA. Yeah, yeah. AA so, took him a little while, but he, oh, he got there so eventually. Much. He came he around. So he came around. He uh, he popped the boot. Well, no, he popped the yeah. He popped the bonnet, and he looked in, and he was like. Oh, this is a, this, this looks like the dog's breakfast. The car, <laughs> the <laughs> engine bay of this car is fucked. Yeah. There is just fuses Dude, everywhere, cables rats. everywhere. The fucking batteries aren't even like mounted. They're just <laughs> like they, they like... fucking like roll around. They literally <laughs> move around in the hood of the yeah. car. It's it was a mess. And it was done by a mechanic. It was wired like horribly. It was a rat's nest, and so like. The guy looks at it, he's like, I have no fucking idea, like, what I'm even looking at. He puts the car up on a jack, like, Matt was doing more than this guy was. <laughs> I feel and, like he didn't want to do anything for, like, liability he, issues. Honestly. Like, this thing's a hazard, I'm not touching this. Honestly, yeah. he said that, he, the dude said, if it were up to me, the, you would not be driving this car. Like, this car yeah. is not legal to drive. We were like, he said it was a death trap. Yeah, we were like, <laughs> oh, well. Matt was underneath the car tinkering, and then I was trying to like then, trace back the wires of this guy's rat's nest. And then Chad, the Chad is like, "Oh, look at this stupid fucking car!" And he, and he fucking kicks the car while it's on a jack, <laughs> oh while God. Matt is right underneath Chad it. Chad almost killed me. He yeah, literally and, almost and killed the, me. And the dude, the 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 guy started like yelling at yeah, Chad. He was screaming. He was telling yeah. him off. He's like, "Are you fucking crazy?" He's like, "Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't he's know." Like, he was wait, going where's Matt? There. I'm like, I'm down here. Yeah, he's like, he's like, "Oh, hey." Matt. Chad was not in a good mood though. To be no, fair, no, he was in pretty nasty mood. Some shit was happened or something that pissed him off and. Kobe was like laughing the whole time because he was just like crack, like cracking the shit. Yeah, his, his leg was hurting. <laughs> yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, His leg was hurting. But anyway, like Matt got it started. Yeah, just I found the wire. Like, was it the starter motor that a, starts the car? Like the motor. wire came off and won't get. Like you couldn't stick it back on there. Yeah, because we can't get a shit job at it. So I have to climb under there, hold it in place, yell it like Toby to start the car over, and it starts. I let go. 
shimmy out from under it without burning myself on the exhaust, then Jesus. we're good to go. And th that's how we had to start it for pretty much the rest of the trip. <laughs> yeah. Every time we fill it for fuel, so, hold on, guys, let me climb so under real quick. So literally every time the limo had to be turned off, if it had to be parked, if it had to be refueled, if it had it, any fucking reason, as soon as it's turned off, Matt has to go under the fucking Which car. Which essentially and meant... And wire the fucking thing again. <laughs> essentially meant, don't turn the limo off. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Which also meant... Make sure the limo is constantly Always fueled. Always refueled. Yeah. Yeah. And but, uh, as we did drive to the next location, uh, we did stop at a gas station. And yeah. the th funny thing about filling up the limo is that uh, it's it's That's it's fucked. There's no like fuel uh, hole. Okay, to the there's yeah. no there's no Let, point. I'll explain. Uh, so for one, the limo doesn't have a working fuel gauge, so you don't know how much fuel is in it at any given moment. Which is really which really helpful. You just have to con <laughs> every time you see a gas station, basically you fill it up and just hope that you don't run out of fuel. Also have jerry cans in the back in yeah. case you run out on the road. Yeah. Um but the the, the uh, some old muscle cars like Cadillacs and stuff have a thing where the fuel uh where you fill up the fuel is behind the license plate. It's like hidden it's behind like the flips. license plate and it's yeah. this tube that goes down and you just uh, like pull back the license plate, spray it down. But with modern like with modern um petrol pumps it just it doesn't work properly to stick it that far in it doesn't reach past the the license plate so we yeah. had to use like funnels Funnel. and tubes <laughs> Funnel and shit and to get in which yeah. just meant that you also couldn't fully squeeze the the pump to get it to pump full like as fast as possible when you had to half out. squeeze you had it to dribble it in so then it would go so down the overflow. funnel <laughs> and it <laughs> wouldn't blast back and like yeah. drop on the ground we're getting like yelled at as well yeah so well, yeah, it because, took yeah, fucking getting, ages to fill literally like backing up the highway at that point this gas station in the middle of nowhere that sees no traffic well it's also we a fucking limo. backed up a highway it was a massive it's, limo it's so big so it takes up two whole spaces mm. and this like lady like got so mad at us and it was also yeah she's gonna tell us off it was she wasn't even there to get fuel what the fuck yeah she was just there to fucking buy the chocolate bar neighborhood watch man it was also parked horribly and because we didn't want to have to get under it and start it twice we're like we're just going to leave it where it's parked and yeah. fill you know, up jerry fine. cans and then take the jerry can <laughs> to fill it up while it's taking up two spots at the gas station so yeah. it's like fair enough we were kind of uh we were there for 20 yeah, minutes we were in a 30 minutes and then we left and we went went to this this camp so yeah this yes. was the first time that i had driven the limo and it it it's such a sketchy car to drive because it is so big and so floaty and the steering wheel you have to turn it to the side to make it go straight and mm -hmm. it's just like and also you're constantly getting hit with fumes coming up through the through all the little holes in the dash and stuff fumes from the engine bay just smacking you in the face so you have to have the windows open to make sure you're getting some fresh air probably was hallucinating it's, and shit. it's <laughs> fucked she kept saying she was seen flying kangaroos. Yeah, I'm seeing demons, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was me, Kobe, Chad, and Mason in the back of the limo at this yeah, first yeah. part. And, so uh, four people. It's a lot of people in the back of the mm. limo. It was like, okay, it was like a little, little cozy yeah, back yeah. there, but it was all right. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we went to the campsite. Yes. Which was... There was a bunch of old a bit people of there. A bit of effort, because we're like driving through like fucking windy roads and hills in this fucking limo as well yeah um there were these two old folks just parked outside of their rv just in a couple of chairs and they watched the, a chat they watched the limo pull in and they were just like could not believe their eyes <laughs> like, we didn't, this is the last thing we expected to see at this peaceful campsite <laughs> yeah. bright pink limo bright pink limo a bunch of fucking young jokers pop out <laughs> fucking bunch of camping equipment they clearly just bought <laughs> like these yeah. guys don't know how to camp we, yeah. we stole no, a good spot though we, did, like, we nice took spot. a great spot yeah. it was the best spot it was right it by was the gorgeous. lake it was like the sun was kind of just like late afternoon sunshine it was fucking gorgeous it was beautiful and we uh yeah we set up camp we, we had a barbie had a barbie we had a few makeshift tables popped up some tents S which took mattresses. a lot of effort to fucking do. Jeez, we were yelling. Yeah. At me, Kobe, and Chad were just yelling the shit out of each other. Yeah. Like, yeah, I Chad was, was like, bully. A, I, was, I wasn't able to put a fucking tent down anywhere. I was encroaching <laughs> on everyone's land. They're like, you can't put it right here, dude. Your right tent here. was so overboard. It's like, you just had yeah, fucking you, LEDs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we, we, because we had we had an inverter in our car, yeah, so, so we had like infinite power. So we ran extension cords. So we had we had RGB in our tent. Yeah, which was we had a little gamer paradise. Outdoor lights as well going around. More in your tent than the car, bro. So they they had their car running the whole day, fucking lighting up their tent we had a space heater at one day. point too yeah, we, had like, we, went to bed, we had a space heater and i was shit. like guys you can't leave the car going this long like you, you're gonna have no fuel for the drive tomorrow and what do you know the next day oh can i borrow your jerry can <laughs> <laughs> wait did that happen yeah i mean we had like half a tank when we turned it on afterwards so you ran out though nearly 
<laughs> that was anyway. that would have been later on. No, in the that day, was when we were it? like driving later on. That's right. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, because like, oh, we, we were low. We were like, fuck, we need we need fuel. And there's, there's no like fuel. there's no petrol stations. Like we were, they're like, very far. In it's between like western each other. side of Tasmania. It's like nothing. If you if you fucking break down, there's no signal. Fuck you, you're dead. Like <laughs> no, you, there's no hope. That we'll have it's help like on the other side. Station, 100 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, it's dude, it's like a high dude, like legit. It's like yeah, next kilometer, you know, next gas station, 30 kilometers, 50 kilometers. 100 kilometers. It's just like there was nothing out there. Let's, let's talk about the bee situation, dude. The bee? The bee oh, situation. The bee. Yeah, dude, the wasps. Every, dude, all you did, the fucking bumblebees wouldn't stop following yeah, Mason the, everywhere on the trip. I swear every location, one, there was this one bumblebee that fucking followed me the whole time. We do, we would be doing anything and then we'd look over at Mason and he'd have his hood, hoodie up and he'd, and he'd be like shrugging his shoulders like this. He'd be like, there's a fucking bumblebee. There's a fucking bumblebee on me. This bumblebee. It was right. Riding in the limo with you. Yeah, I know. It just didn't want to get lost. <laughs> Aside from the bees, though, it was a very peaceful night, by the way. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. We set up a little campfire. We had yeah. the chairs around in a circle. Fitz and I had a headboard on a. On a we, we, we bought an air mattress yeah. that had a headboard, yeah. and we put it in the in the uh, tent, and it was so big that it was off the ground because it was just pushing on all the sides of the tent. Taking the a shit in the woods was not fun. Oh, it's not <laughs> remnant. It was word. literally a fucking I'm chair. It was a seat. chair with a toilet seat, like, just on the chair, and you shat into a bag. Which I didn't want to do, because you had to do it after someone else done it. Yeah. I was like, oh, wait, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You want to be the first one yeah. to shit yeah, in the bag? Yeah, dude, I think I would have been the second person to shit in the bag. Yeah. And and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that, like, I felt way better, like, having shat rather than not having shit because we had like three <laughs> hours ahead of us and I did not want to be in a bumpy car with a fucking gopher head poking out I'm so happy to hear that yeah it was comfy it was comfy it was nice we engaged in uh, some excellent campfire discussion that night mm-hmm. we uh, <laughs> Ooh, very drunk back campfire again, discussion the great <laughs> debate about uh, whether you would rather be uh, paralyzed from the waist down or be widely known as a pedophile yeah um, you don't have to be a pedophile you don't you have to be a pedophile it's just that everyone would, 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 would think you are that's right mm-hmm. so like everyone you know is like I'm pretty sure he's a pedophile it's like be labeled a pedo like be labeled a pedo like legally be put on a sex offender registry and everything but you're not actually a pedophile. you could have you could have been friends unless you really want to be but like you don't have to be a pedophile yeah. and it's your either, legs work yeah and your legs work or you're paralyzed from the waist down and like i was making this argument you know perhaps a little too ferociously that of course like being known as a pedophile is better than being paralyzed from the waist down like are you kidding me i would way rather have working legs and just like get out of town <laughs> live in a cabin <laughs> in the woods than fucking be paralyzed <laughs> paralyzed from the waist down and yeah what? You know, you can't fuck any kids then. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fuck anyone then. Yeah. Waste down literally like your dick's not going to work. It's true. Uh, anyway. Dick don't whole work. discussion, we posted about it on Instagram. I don't know, it was fucking stupid. <laughs> Most people went <laughs> for cripple. Funny. Most people went for cripple. I know, well, I just, and yeah, like everyone was voting like they would rather be crippled. And I'm just th- sitting there thinking like, these people haven't thought this through properly. Yeah, so Fitz yeah, made so a Yeah, so you did a follow-up follow up. Follow up. I was, and just to clarify, you're not actually a pedophile. You're just known as one. And that shifted the numbers. It was like, it was like, like 10%, then turned to like 33 just about no, it was only like a five percent difference, man. People really? were still voting cripple. I was really upset about it. I felt like I needed to, you know, fuck some kids or take a best. stand from my perspective. I yeah. just feel like people were just jump reacting, like, "Oh no, I'm not a pedophile." Out yeah. of fear, losers. In reality, what they should be afraid of is being paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah, uh, but you know, it was it was a nice, it was a wholesome night. It was a great. Yeah. Night. We woke up, <laughs> we packed tree, up. Yeah. I couldn't sleep very well because my tent, my feet were literally jammed up into the wall of the tent. Yeah, see... <laughs> yeah, your little feces like, we poke like, I got they the had tent. a mattress. I got in the yeah, tent we didn't and have I mattress. slept on the ground. <laughs> There's no room. I wish we didn't have the mattress because yeah. that headboard took up like half the yeah. tent. We would have loved to sleep, we on, we loved to sleep on the headboard. Yeah, right? That was better when we deflated it. But, uh, yeah. And then the, the next day we had a road trip ahead of us. Yeah. It was it was a, a small road trip up a mountain and then yeah. followed by a big road trip. But first we drove up this mountain. It was really, really beautiful. Well, and on, that was when we started to notice that like... Uh, Tasmania is just a place of many biomes. Yes. Because everywhere beautiful. we drove, it looked completely different. It was so cool. It was all beautiful in its own Stony way. Stony mountains, yeah. lush hills, mm-hmm. like plains, was beach. This on the way to uh, um, yeah. Cradle Mountain. That's yeah. Right. So, where, where yeah. So we, we saw the the first view. That and was, was the that was the rocks. ruby, the uh, lake yeah, lake yeah, ruby. Oh, okay. So but here's the thing: like the day before, Mason oh, had purchased some AirPods. He was really excited to get himself some AirPods. He loved these AirPods. And mm. was, he was having a great time on the way to Cradle Mountain, yeah. listening to his AirPods. He was having a good time. And then they got out to like pee. Yeah, I, I went out to pee, and then I just Matt was like doing something, just 
piss me off for some reason. Rough housing. So I just slapped him on the head. But he had a <laughs> helmet on. He had a helmet on, to be fair. And I just gave him a pretty decent slap. And then he just gets up and bolts for me, <laughs> like full jolts for me. And um, we, we run the whole way up like this. I start dodging and going up the mountain. He's right behind me. And then I like do this big jump, and then he tries to jump as well. Cause yeah, not I like cause the he had best that, shoes as well. well he had a helmet on, dude, like probably about extra 10 Can't kilos Can't charge distance head. that well. <laughs> and uh, I think it disproportioned your weight, and you just fucking ate shit, and your hands were all cut yeah, off. I tried, the funny thing was, I tried to catch my fall with my head, because I had the helmet <laughs> yeah, on. Instead, enough. I just landed on my shoulder and just scraped my hands. Yeah, and then, um, <laughs> we yeah, like we stopped and then got back in, and I realized I'm missing an AirPod. Well, we, we had started driving for a bit. And Maybe then, five minutes. And then we just hear on the... Well, I was driving and I just hear Mason go, just throw his AirPods. Well, here's the thing, like, Mason's like, fuck, I lost my AirPods back there. And I'm like, all right, well, we're like literally, we're driving like two minutes. We can just turn around, like, you'll probably find them. It's just one AirPod. And he was like, yeah, he lost one AirPod, so he still had one. And he was like, nah, fuck him. Just like threw the case <laughs> and the other AirPod out the window. And he was like, AirPods are shit anyway. <laughs> so you guys just hear across the radio, uh, Mason lost one of his AirPods and then got angry and threw the other one out the window. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like fair. Uh, sounds like Mason. And then the next fucking day, he just ended up buying some new ones anyway. No, yeah. no. I, 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 was gave, a couple days later. I gave Mason mine later. for the rest of the trip. Yeah, and I ended up getting another pair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Anyway, we, we drove up to Cradle Mountain, which is this mountain that looks like a fucking ice cream scoop has been taken out of it. It's pretty cool. Mm. It beautiful. Like a nature reserve. It was this uh, beautiful oh, like lake. Custom lake Ruby. Ruby. Shit. Lake Ruby, I think. Lake Ruby, yeah. A so. huge lake, which was on top of a mountain. It was so cool. We're up it was there. Fucking we're crazy. Walking, we fucking smoked some weed. A bunch of people uh, had a dip in the lake. That's right. The lake, we asked the uh, like ranger at the start, we're like, can you swim in the lake? She was like, yeah, if you want to fucking freeze to death, it's cold. And we're like, <laughs> and everyone we was can... like, oh boy. Yeah. And they <laughs> fucking took their clothes off. So like me, had... Chad, Mason. We had to like Chris hike. And, and there was like a cabin as well. Like yeah, a yeah cabin. you, you hiked yeah. right up to the edge. It like some shit out of. It was like a little boathouse. Like Skyrim or something. Like a little yeah, historical like boathouse. Yeah. Stripped down, had a dip in the lake. It was so cold that like it was hard to breathe. Like your heart was fucking yeah. hammering. But fucking refreshing. It seems so Most invigorating. refreshing swim I've ever had. It was great. Yeah. It was, it was nice. I went in twice. Yeah. Chad was naked and everyone yeah. was hiking past yeah. us. Dude, Chad see. was completely Chad naked. Chad out holding he, his cock. Yeah, dude. And <laughs> like kids started to like, g- like come around the trail and he was like, oh shit. You know, fucking Mommy, run for a town. <laughs> <laughs> like cover, cover their eyes and shit. Yeah, um, so that was good for them. Yeah, and we saw like echidnas and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, we saw a little baby echidna. Lots of wildlife yeah. in Tidal Tasmania. Tons of wildlife too. Uh, yep. Never see that shit here. Wallabies and all, and all that. Hedgehogs and shit. We, we saw a lot of wildlife that night. Yeah, well. But well, we, we finished the hike and it's about five o'clock and we're like, Shit, like, all right, we're going to have to do a, a night drive. The guy said, all right, we've got about five hours of driving ahead of us. It's going to be a while for us to get anywhere that, like, has any food or anything. But we're going to, basically, halfway through, we have to stop at a gas station if we can get there in time before it closes. Because all the gas stations close super early in Tasmania. Yeah. Uh, so he was like, he was like we're going to, we, we just have to get there and hope we can get inside, get some fuel, and get some gas station food for dinner. And everyone was kind of like, you know, after this long day of like hiking and driving, we just kind of wanted some real food. So luckily there was actually a, um, there was a, a diner, a tavern. like a little tavern. Yeah. Around the corner that we were able to, to go into and get some food, but it meant that we were going to be driving on this big road trip, uh, late. like Four really later. late at night, yeah. basically in pitch black darkness. Yeah. So we we go grab some food. Good feed too. Good feed. Yeah, they, yeah. Good feed. <laughs> they fucking they their cash card. machine stopped working. So oh, we yeah. we had to like walk around Throw to everyone. Five like, on the table. Anyone got any cash? Anyone got any cash? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that we could get getting out the, food. Getting the whole pot. Fucking yeah. Um, yeah. And then yeah, I don't know what else after that. We well we 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 started the road trip. Yeah, we started the road trip. We <laughs> we pulled into this um and back into the car park to like regroup and start the road trip and i and, and i was like oh, chris limo. can you can you Get explain the car the again yeah. <laughs> yeah i was like chris can you can you explain to me how the lights work and stuff and how the high beams work he, he explains to me he's like he's telling me over the walkie talkie he's like all right so basically under the brake there's a button under the carpet and you push it with your foot and that's how the high beams work and i was like what <laughs> failing around my foot couldn't find anything i was like okay this is fucking weird so we had to pull over and he he showed me and i was like okay okay we got the high beams working. We looked. We we're like, okay, they're pretty shit, but it'll it'll be okay. So they're working at this point. We start driving. Five minutes later, on the walkie-talkie, uh, Ryan goes, Toby, you should probably have your lights on. And I was like, 
what do you mean? My lights are on. I got my high beams mm. on. He was like, no, you don't. <laughs> And I was like, oh, Uh-oh. fuck. So we're fiddling around trying to get them to work. They're not working at all. We pull over and we're like, you know, everyone's getting in trying to get them to work. It's not working. And we just, you know, it's getting darker. And we decide that we have to resort to strapping these flashlights. Oh, my. Forgot about God. that. The these two fucking, them. like, $15 flashlights they duct taped to the they, roof of the... Torches. They showed me nothing. Yeah, they didn't do anything. They did literally like nothing. like other cars seeing you at that point. Yeah, that was, that was all it was for, was to show other... Like, we were hoping it would do something, but all it did was show other anything. people where I was. This was, yes. like, this was, like, from 10 o'clock to fucking 3 in the morning It was well. until, like, 3 it was a, in the morning. It was a 7 like or 8 hour drive. Yeah. Um, it was so bad. So, essentially pitch black darkness driving a piece of shit limousine yeah, so with windows that didn't work in the freezing cold <laughs> with no lights up, so yeah. up mountains i was just up fucking, mountains in the pitch black i was hugging so basically i was like before we even found out that the that the lights didn't work i was like fuck it a five hour drive like it's it's already like 6 p.m mm. 7 p.m i'm pretty tired like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this I, I uh, magically found some uh, Gamer a, 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 Gamersops, yeah. a fun little uh, friend, Dexter. Uh, who, who <laughs> gave Dexter me some, gave you a ton of Gamersops. Yeah, gave me some energy. We we had a ton of Gamersops, basically, to get me going. A um, ton of Gamersops that came in a pill form uh, that, that got me going and uh, it gave me enough energy to like basically just hyper-focus on what I was doing. And what I was doing was staring at Ryan's uh, brake lights and just hugging him. As, as I go die. around yeah. these, like this wasn't just you know driving down the highway at night for mm, a few no. hours. Like this was eight hours through windy forest roads, up mountains and down mountains, in a fucking piece of shit limousine. It was so fucking cold. There's also so animals. Cold. Forget the animals. Me, Fitz, Chad, and Kobe were in the back of the limo, and we're all wrapped in like four, like four sleeping they bags. They had sleeping yeah. bags yeah. on, yeah. keeping them warm. With, like, windows was, down. The windows don't close. So, like. Like if you're sitting in a certain place, you just have a, a vortex of wind on your face <laughs> at all times. Ice cold wind. Like, yeah. Kobe you know, ended like, up. Kobe ended up, up carking it and just going like, "I'm going the fucking van. Fuck yeah. this." Yeah. Yeah. did too because there was more room. Yeah. Like, we were dying. And then I ended up going in the front with Toby, keep her awake. Yeah. And um, we saw like heaps of shit yeah. on the road. Yeah. So we're, you know, we're driving one in this... KPS, one kangaroo yeah. per second. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're driving this massive convoy. So we had like four cars. There's Ryan's car, which is like. Leader of the pack, like, kind of scouting out, like, in front what the turns are, if there's cars coming, like, that kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, talking animals, over the walkies, saying talking what's over happening. Talking the walkies, uh, limousine right behind that, uh, Honda right behind the limo with the high beams on. Oh, yeah, we, we put our, the big-ass massive light bar we had on the giant right. so light had bar. Which I had to stare at the entire yeah. time, because I was in that seat of the limo looking out the rear window, and it was, oh, like, yeah. blinding so, me. Yeah, yeah, whenever you'd it fall was asleep, actually, we'd also fucking honk the horn at you every now and then. Yeah, we were honking the horn to keep everyone in the limo awake. It was like I was like in a trance. It was like I was just watching this alien spaceship follow me like through the night. It was, yeah, awesome. it was, it was so sh- bright. I like I couldn't look at any of my mirrors because it was just <laughs> blinding everything. Uh, but it was what lit up the road for me. Yeah, so like behind us was the van and then that was the whole convoy. Think, so yeah. like as we're going, it's getting darker and darker. We're seeing more and more wildlife. We see a shit ton of wallabies. They're fucking everywhere. They're like little kangaroos. And they all all they want to do, these little fucking creatures, all they want to do is jump in front of cars. Yeah, they just want to <laughs> be on the road. So we saw... Okay, I'm just going to lay it out. This is the brass tacks. <laughs> Uh, we killed two wallabies. We killed two <laughs> possums. We cut off a possum's tail. We killed two. Oh, that's right. We killed two two jackrabbits, and a fucking Tasmanian devil went right, but we didn't right kill it. by us. Ooh. Right, it went, it went right by the two cars. She's a fucking little Tasmanian devil going, <laughs> <laughs> like fucking sprinting across the road. You never see that shit again. Those are dangerous. Right? Right? Those are dangerous. Very yeah, rare paper. We didn't kill it. Yeah. it. It was completely fine. Yeah. But, but we killed a lot of other yeah, animals. Of all those animals, we we hit like. You were only there was, for like half of them. That, that was like probably like less than a percent of all the fucking animals we, we saw. saw. It was so insane. many. It was it was constantly on the radio. While if he's on the left, kangaroos on the right, possum in the middle. So we're like weaving in and out. And the, the thing that was sketching me out is that it was like pitch black. It was new moon. So like you couldn't see like really anything. We're going up and I just know that we're going up. My ears keep popping. Like, like, and it's like you're looking at the, the fucking GPS and you're traveling like, you know, going up in altitude or, like for the last two hours. And then you're, and then you're like, I look out the window and I can just slightly see that we we're on a giant fucking mountain. <laughs> we're literally driving on the edge of a giant cliff, 
And all I see are like the tips of these really tall ash trees, just like right out in the distance. And I'm like, wait, this is fucked, man. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, like, white, I was white lights. knuckling <laughs> nothing. Well, see, even with the lights, I was so tired, I really couldn't see much at that point. So <laughs> it was a everything, blur. I, literally, everything was a blur. I couldn't even focus my eyes. I just saw a, with the so bright dangerous. lights, I saw a big plink blur in front of me. I'm like, well, they're on the radios telling us where the animals are and if cars are coming. So this is really dangerous. But as long as I just follow the pink blur, yeah, I'll that's be the thing. I was getting worried. <laughs> oh that's the thing. You hear like that we were driving a, a pink limo and pitch black darkness with no lights. And like, yeah, it, it was very sketchy, very dangerous. But at the same time, we would pro- like we were doing it pretty safely. We were doing yeah. it very professionally too. Like, I was surprised. The the call outs were really good. The radio was. You could tell it was like very serious mood when the animals yeah. were like a lot of them. Yeah, and <laughs> it was, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. I it's gonna be like a night that I'll never forget. I mm. I had so much fun. Uh, just it was like a fucking movie. It was, yeah. it was so cool. Yeah, it was so, uh, so you, talking on the radio. I I had a t shirt on. I was wearing a t-shirt this whole drive with both the windows open because I couldn't lift any of them up because of the fumes. So I had this a, a t-shirt on and it was two degrees Celsius. <laughs> Just to keep you awake. <laughs> it was fucking freezing. And I was like, Mason was like, are you not cold? And I was like, ah, it, it kind of helps me like stay awake. Yeah. But then I Put got to hands. a point where I was like, <laughs> where I was like, Mason, I, I can like barely move my thumbs. <laughs> I, they are so cold. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to put on a jacket. And I was so cozy. Yeah. <laughs> like, there was this one moment we pulled up to that gas station that was closed. Oh my God. Um, that was that night. Yeah. And like it was halfway through the drive oh, right. and we had like all these like little geezers fucking coming up <laughs> yeah, like these little right. fucking yeah so these little, yeah, little, little local 20 year olds like before drinking that. fucking rum and shit i don't know but what was going before on before that the reason we were in this town we were driving along this like highway the whole time that was through the mountains and stuff and we we pull up and, and ryan sees a police car yeah. and they uh the limo had flashlight strapped to the, the the hood and no lights on so we're like all right we're gonna pull over the limo we're just gonna sit here and like wait for the police car to get far up but the police car clearly saw us and had pulled up and was waiting for us because ryan like drove back and forth a few times was like yeah that that police car's not moving he's just pulled up and he's sitting there so we were like shit so we reversed and we decided to go into this town instead of going around it so that we can avoid this cop so we 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 take the like flashlights off the off the hood and stuff so that it doesn't look as sketchy, and we're just driving through this tiny little town, uh, as these people are just out on their nights out, getting drunk and stuff. They see this this convoy of cars pull into this gas station. With Ten of them too, like and, fucking yeah. And um, they, they got back in their car or some shit, and they I thought it was like I was stuck in a loop because they they kept coming back. Yeah, in yeah. This, in it was like car. it was like one little guy. He's like, "Oh, look at this!" And then he and then like he leaves two minutes yeah. later. And yeah. Another little guy. Yeah, the, no, he the, they drove past in their car and he kept going, "You stink!" <laughs> yeah, like, three <laughs> fucking times, bro. Like around the block, and I'm like, "Yeah, my it was, fucking loop, bro." What's it going was on? so it was weird. Really creative small town insults. <laughs> he was saying the same thing every time. <laughs> Clearly, this was just like the most interesting thing these guys had ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. living in this tiny town in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. I was like, so, to Toby, I'm ready to grab the fucking baseball bat at this oh, point because it was sketchy. Yeah, so like. Like, yep. so we're following the limo and we're in our car and like, we're talking on the walkie talkie and it's like, make a right. And then we make a right. And he's like, make another right, make another right, make another right, make another right. And the guy was followed us. He's like, yep, they're following us. That's three right turns. We and- assumed that they were homophobic and were uh, hunting down the pink limousine in the hopes of catching <laughs> some gays. Yeah, that's what it really seemed like. But they were, they, yeah, they were just like, you guys stink. You're stinky. Yeah, that was You're their stinky. Only insult. That it was, was, like, so yeah, it was very bizarre. And then we were like, okay, like, we just need to get out of town. And they followed us up until the edge of town. And then they were like, okay, we're not following these guys. Yeah. Like these, yeah. let, let let them die yeah, in the we hills. We them. <laughs> yeah. we, ran, we ran them out of town. <laughs> I wasn't our damn pink limo. Damn gays. <laughs> Fucking sundown town for pink limo. <laughs> that was so drunk too. That was so drunk. Yeah. Just driving. But this whole cop didn't stop them. What the fuck? I know. <laughs> this whole night was just fucking wild. It was like so sketchy and so dangerous it was such but a relief. also so fun and such an awesome memory to have yeah. such a relief when we got when, yeah. we, when, we, when it ended when like it was so different from go. me and Chad, uh, Chad in the back of the limo because like we didn't have any of the communication you guys had I was sitting there the whole time on the walkie like we were just in a completely different zone here I was just gazing at the bright yeah. headlights of Matt and Swagger and like While you're completely getting blasted in the dark. With, with fucking yeah. like cold well, air it was like fierce well, and like somehow because it was such a long drive I was like fuck this I just like Keeled over in the fetal position on this car and the <laughs> seat, and just like managed to fall asleep for three hours, which is yeah. incredible. I, was I uh, no idea how much danger I was in. <laughs> the whole time that you guys were getting blasted with air, I felt so sorry for you guys. And then I r- realized halfway through, I was like, oh, 
the limo has a partition, which for anyone that doesn't know, in a limo, there's a window that goes up to cut off the back from the from the driver so that yeah. the people in the back can have privacy. And I was like, oh my God, this whole time, they've been getting blasted with air and I could have had the partition up to stop it for them. Well, it wouldn't have mattered because that window's down. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it made a little bit of a difference. Uh, yeah. and a, a little bit, but uh, it was still fucking horrible. It's still up the wind tunnel. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, eventually we get to the Airbnb. Thank God. It was cozy. It was like we two shampoo cabin in the Airbnb. We had beds that night. We yeah. had some beds. It was awesome. Got yeah, four hours of sleep. It was great. Yeah, we, I mean, yeah, we got to go. I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. It was better than yeah. the night in the tent. I know. was worried that the game of subs I was on was going to mean that I couldn't sleep, but I slept like a baby. <laughs> Such a great product. <laughs> we fucking shut up with game of <laughs> Um Next day we wake up. Uh, Matt's got a hot wire the limo again. In fact, I'm pretty mm. sure that this is the time when you permanently yeah, fixed it. Like you screwed it in place. Yeah, you like fixed the limo, which was miraculous. Like no more client. Yeah, another it. bumblebee followed me. Yeah, well, Matt. <laughs> back to the limo. <laughs> Matt brought with him like, you know, his entire garage in the trunk. He had pretty like much, a yeah. ma- every tool known to man, every single fucking thing you needed to splice wires and fucking Pretty much everything I used, like setting our car up and all the electric stuff, I just threw it all in a box and shoved it in the Matt, trunk. Dude, he was, like, just, he was I feel grinding. like our car's going to be a piece of shit and break down by the end yeah, of it. But. He was grinding his mechanic <laughs> skill, dude. He was, he was really, he was getting to some level ups. <laughs> It was like double XP weekend for him. <laughs> yeah. So he fixed the limo, which was a fucking blessing. Um, we had a bit of breakfast. We went on a little nature walk, or so a waterfall. That's right. Oh, Matt got oh, lost. That's right. Oh. right. Oh. We, we, couldn't, we couldn't find Matt for what seemed to be hours. And then it was, on a side it was, like, it was like an hour. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're like, where the fuck is Matt? Was, he, didn't, he didn't have a walkie talkie. didn't have reception. We were in okay. the middle of nowhere. Originally, I thought we were eating breakfast. Like, so what's the plan for today? We don't have a plan for today. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's go on a little walk. I was like, okay, no rush. We can go on walk or whatever you yeah, had your big camera with yeah you, i was like just filming b-roll just having fun and i was like where the fuck are the guys i walked down to the waterfall i didn't see them i'm like okay i guess they went further up the trail so i'm gonna try and hunt them down <laughs> and i so, had my headphones plugged into the camera and i was literally using the camera mic i had the gain turned up i'm like scanning around seeing if i can <laughs> yeah hear. if you can like i was trying them. to isolate to see if i could hear like chad's laugh because i knew that would be the first thing i'd hear <laughs> True. It was the most distinct he'd do some dumb shit but it was yeah. literally like we went through this long trail and then like you see a waterfall and then you can keep going through the trail yeah, i didn't left, know there was like another and then it would around. just and it would loop and it would yeah. loop you yeah. around to like the other side of like the entrance but he was like, oh, well, I don't know. They're not I, there. I they're thought you guys would have saw me on the so, way back. So, so, I'm like, so oh, surely, yeah, so surely they, they, they went right. And r- when you go right, it's like a nature walk that goes for like fucking 45 minutes or like <laughs> two hours, depending on where you want to go in this in this whole park. And right, we're like, oh, my God, it's up. like. It, it was like we had to we had to go off in teams of two, each with a walkie-talkie, me, to try Kobe, to find me, Kobe, you and Mitchell. Yeah, to 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 go out and try to find him. And what it was, it was I, yeah. So we go in, and and like people are like, you know, I have this fucking jumpsuit on. I have a walkie-talkie, <laughs> and like I'm walking around and I'm going up to people. I'm like. Hey, have you seen a guy who's kind of tall, lanky, like brown hair? He's a giant camera. They're like, oh, uh, well, I, I go, he, he's he's autistic. Like we're he, he he like we we lost him. Like we were trying so hard to find him. Like and they're and they're like, oh, oh my God, yeah, no, no, we saw someone just oh, like autistic. that. Go yeah. go right down there. And, and they were like, yeah, okay. So we did that to like five or six groups of people. And then eventually, when we found Matt, we we're looking through. We we eventually find Matt, and then. You know, he's up like two flights of steps, like this, this giant flight of steps. I got like halfway up. I was like, I cannot be fucked. And so I waited for them to like go up, find him, bring him back down. And then as we're walking out, all these people are going like, oh, you found him. I'm oh, you I found the him. I'm walk of shame past these people. Yeah, I'm like, dude. sorry. Yeah, yeah, dude. And, and we're like, yeah. they're like, oh, we're so happy you found him. And I was like, yeah, I'm glad to have him back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. While, while this was happening, we were like, fuck, we're, we're on a like tight schedule today. So we need to go and find somebody to get the limo refueled. So mm. while they're off trying to find Matt, we're trying to find a gas station. And we end up getting to one. We, we fill it up. And as we fill it up, uh, this this group of, of motorbike, like a motorbike club pulls up. Bikies. Uh, on, on Harleys. Like I, would, I would say bikies, but like bikies, you know, have a bad name. These were lovely people. But they, they pull up on these Harleys. Everyone's like staring at the limo like, what is this? They're like getting in, it. seeing what it's like. Everyone Taking loved it. And shit. Yeah. And um, and we, we were just like chatting to these bikies, having a good time. And we, we were sitting at the gas station for fucking ages waiting for them to find Matt. Yeah. And eventually uh, they, they catch up to us and they're like, oh, we, someone had the idea 
to ask the bikies to do like a presidential like police escort. So they, 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 all these guys on Harleys pull up in front of the, in front and behind the limo and drive down the, the street while, <laughs> while we're in the limo. And it, it just looked so sick. It was like this in the weird small town, <laughs> just yeah. this bright pink limo with a motorcycle escort coming through. It was yeah, the, so the sick. Only, like a princess was visiting or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only other noticeable thing there besides the gas station was a little berry for him. They had really good ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Irass berries yeah. and yeah. delicious good, ice cream. Interesting ciders as well. <laughs> yeah, really good ciders. <laughs> yeah, they were stocked up on berries. Yeah. The bikies, it was so funny because Everywhere we went, we went. It seems we ran into those bikies. Yeah, we saw them everywhere. Yeah, they were on the exact after. same road trip as us. It was so funny. Well, everywhere we went, everyone loved the limo as well. Yeah, yeah. We started saying eventually, like the limo just gives you plus ten charisma. Yeah, you, know, you, you can like, you can get away with limo. anything in the limo. Yeah, people like, love it. They don't give a fuck because it's like that's so hilarious. We've never seen that in Tasmania before. Yeah. Um. Anyway, the what the plan for the day was to go to a dam. Yeah, um, the, the Gordon fucking Dam. Huge the Gordon dam. dam. Yeah, fucking big ass down. I hate yeah. it. It's a bit of a drive. Yeah, we were we driving. The... It was it was daytime this time, a nice daytime drive through Beautiful. the mountains, through these this windy forest. Gorgeous. I was having a blast because at this point I was like, I was like, okay, I've driven the limo for a couple of days. I'm pretty comfortable in it. It's got a nice like rumbly V8. I was having a good time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we were driving up to this dam. We we pull over. We find this this really nice little spot to pull over and like take a piss. Yeah. End up going for a little hike up a up a hill. We, we, we get to the dam pretty quick. Like yeah. the dam was like, it was cool. It was big as fuck. It was scary. But I, you could, I could, echo, echo. Yeah, the echo was wild. Clap, you could, you could clap, and you would hear it like eight yeah. times. The deep dam, and it was like we were probably fucking. I don't, I don't even know how many meters up we were. Five hundred meters. So, it was so meters. far that you, you look down and like you I just, got, you very I got so it's dizzy. So lightheaded. And like we're sitting in like there's this little platform that goes out that has like a building on it, and you're essentially overseeing this like this gorge, this fucking ravine that goes down, you know, to a pit of despair. And like I'm, I, I'm like so far away from the edge, and then you know Fitz walks up and Blue's filming him, uh, and and he like looks over the the valley and he goes, oh. Very nice. And then, like, he grabs he grabs the, the fucking railing and then he jumps, like, straight up in the air, but, like, <laughs> like pretending <laughs> like he was going to go over. And I screamed like a little girl. <laughs> oh, dude, was I, so I, I was so sweaty. It was so, like, nervous. It wouldn't be the first time Swagger thought one of his friends was going to fall off the hot <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, had, I don't <laughs> like those bits. I do not like those bits. Yeah, Swag's hated the height. It was scary, though. Like, I'll admit, like, I was uh, doing this bit where I was, like, running down the stairs as quick as I could. There's this huge flight of stairs I went down to like the actual dam wall and I was holding the camera above my head to make the perspective look funny. And like I got all the way down to almost the bottom and then I slipped and I almost dropped the camera off the side. <gasps> oh, that would have been such so a disaster because all the footage would have been lost. Oh, yeah. It was that close to I, I hope that like that Turns out okay on the film because yeah. it'd be really funny to go like it was. Oh. It was pretty dope. There wasn't really we much else that we did there. We just kind of yeah, we did the train horn well, to see how it's how it would echo. Good. And after the dam, didn't we go to the the next Airbnb? Yeah, which was the, the, we we started driving and um, you set up your your big three sixty cam on the roof of your car and and I was oh, I was beautiful. Oh, I was so comfortable in the in the limo at that point. And Ryan basically the whole the whole trip Ryan was just going like a little bit faster than me so that he was in front of me and uh cuz he was like yeah the limo's probably the slowest car. So as long as the limo's keeping up, we're fine. So Ryan's gradually going faster and faster as I'm going faster and faster behind him. We're going through these windy roads. Fitz is getting thrown around in the back. Uh and I'm just like, you know, we're going like 110 my foot is to the floor the entire time and we realize slowly that we can no longer see the civic or the van behind us because we were going like so fast in this pe in this piece of shit limo that we had lost them yeah. at, to the point where at one point You're like at a walkie talkie <laughs> range Couldn't yeah even yeah and we were like we pulled over because we had to see where they were and they took a good few minutes to catch up to us but i uh i <laughs> i was flooring it i saw this little bump and I was like, I was like, you know what? Like, I reckon, I reckon this would be kind of fun to go over. I floor it, <laughs> get air Fucking going floor. over this bump, which was my Fla. intention. I was like, I think this is pretty safe. I think it's okay. We won't get much air. This car's very floaty. I was like, we'll be okay. I get air. Fitz just like looks over and starts banging on the partition because <laughs> I, I had the partition was, up because I was going so fast it would have been so windy for them. I was distressed. It he was just started alarming. banging on it. And I'm just like, I'm just like. 
We're okay. <laughs> I was like, we're okay. Yeah. Like, Slow down. Shit. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> I was already getting nauseous in the back because he was speeding so yeah. much, and then the yeah. fucking jump was like. Oh, At that God. point, I was like, I was like, oh, actually, I should probably chill out here. He's like the coffee. guys in the back are getting fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I was um, having fun. It was a good drive. Nice, nice uh, scenic drive. Got to the the town of the next. Uh, yeah, Airbnb. yeah. The church, the church of Airbnb. We uh, the headlights. Yeah, yeah Max fixed the headlights in a car park. Oh, yeah. Was Wasn't it on the way to the church of Airbnb? You started doing like five consecutive hard pulls on the oh, turbo. Okay, so we were doing a lot of hard pulls with that. We were really testing the turbo yeah. for like a good half hour. I was just constantly just had the revs was just for like half yeah, an you, hour. It was straight up. It was like a pull, like for like fucking 10 seconds and it go do, 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 like that and it was like holy so shit like, what's the point of that what does that do to make it just sounds cool yeah it's just fun. for and then just, I even just for fun. Like, oh I see yeah, the appeal of cars I, I literally was like oh like, I see the appeal of it now like I see the appeal of it because with it, a turbo it's like your car's kind of slow for a little bit and then all of a sudden it gets fast out of nowhere. The way the power comes on is just so addicting it's just nothing yeah. nothing just, and yeah. then it makes a really cool sound at the end so it's yeah, just it's and just then, like Really fun. Yeah, and what's, what's cool about it, too, is it, it, you'll get an even cooler sound if you do it ten times in a fucking row, <laughs> and you'll you'll hear this... <laughs> we hear this, like, slight knocking... It's like... You hear that ticking? What is that? Yeah, and I'm like, that doesn't sound right. You're like, no, it's fine. We'll fix it up. It'll be fine. And we're like, okay. We end up getting to the church. Uh, there's this crazy church Airbnb that we stayed yeah. in. It was so like, gorgeous. Basically, the church Airbnb owners uh, were under the impression that they were like three people, four people stay in there. In reality, they were like- Eight, nine. Ten, yeah, <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, so we had to be really sneaky. We parked the, the limo and the fucking Honda around the corner. We just pulled in, crept in one by one, pulled that stuff in. The owners had no idea. But it was a really cool church. They had like- It was sick. It. Um, it was pretty cozy. It was pretty yeah. warm. I thought it was going to be really creepy, but the inside was actually nice. It was just it was like, nice. the inside was just a really modern, nice house. High ceilings. Um, but nice. because it was in a church, it was just so pretty. Yeah. So was I was gorgeous. still like slightly convinced the owners were going to kill us though. <laughs> so uh, to counteract that, uh, while Ryan was cooking dinner, I started reading a bunch of Bible verses mm -hmm. just to, you know- Play music on the piano. There was a piano yeah, there, which is pretty great. Yeah, I was like actually preaching out the Bible as well. <laughs> it was good. It was a good. It was a good vibe. It was a good bit. <laughs> it was good. So um, basically, once everyone had gone to sleep, I, I went so over tired. and I woke up. Fitz had fallen so asleep tired. too. Went and woke up Fitz so that we could sneak off, go to the caravan park where we had parked the other cars with some spray paint mm. and turn the American flag into a russian flag yes yeah, so we find the Amer <laughs> team america's car they've got this big usa flag on the front we're like all right let's uh let's communist this car up a little yeah. bit yeah on the side we painted we did a big red square and then attempted the to paint a sickle. Uh, hammer, hammer and sickle. sickle i think it turned out good. It actually turned out okay it's a, it a little droopy with drips yeah well see fitz and i have a problem with paint that. where whenever we paint anything it drips, it drips. it's just our <laughs> style it's like our signature style yeah fuck that core up dude we, it, we, yeah we made it very russian looking yeah uh, dude um, which is great timing because russia was full on invading ukraine yeah, during all this that's pretty much why we did that yeah <laughs> yeah you know not that we actually we were gonna do a ukrainian flag but we thought the russian flag was funny and also so it, it was, was the same colors same color. as the American funnier. flag. Yeah. Made it perfect. You, uh, uh, uh Matt got you back. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, when I you mean, guys came out to, like, put all the bags in, you're like, wait, they fucked with the limo, too. Yeah, like, so we, we, we came out to, like, we, we, we came out to put the bags in and to get everyone over to the cars. The Airbnb hosts were not happy with us, by the way. Like, they found out that oh, yeah? a bunch of people stay in there and they were, like, pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. Boo but we get there and we, we, we set up the cameras to, like, show, like, oh, yeah, this is what we did last night. Yeah, it was, we were, like, really funny. And then we walk over to the limo and we notice that there's just a bunch of rubbish in the back of the limo <laughs> because the windows don't don't go up. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> These people at the caravan park have just loaded our car with rubbish? <laughs> and what we realized was it wasn't uh the caravan park people because as we kept walking forward matt had just wrapped the the limo's hood in carbon fiber wrap uh <laughs> and all the stuff in the back was just like the backing sticker of the of the carbon fiber wrap so much fucking rubbish <laughs> <laughs> but he he wrapped the hood of the of the limo and and put a big yeah. defect sticker on the front which so, unfortunately I had to take yeah, the defects yeah, off because I was like, I don't really want to get yeah, pulled over. You should literally get you pulled over. <laughs> but ironically, when I say I didn't want to get pulled over, later that day, well, yeah, we're driving to Hoborn, <laughs> and uh, I, and I see flashing lights behind me as I'm driving into the city, and uh, I pull over. This is at like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. I pull yep. over. The first thing these these cops do, 
they breathalyzed me. Yeah. I, was like, <laughs> mother, I was like, who the fuck's drinking at 9 a.m? Well, you're in the well, where you're driving. You're like, only someone fucking drunk off their face would be driving yeah. this fucking thing around. So, I, he, he, yeah, he, I do the breathalyzer. He's like, okay, you're clear. And then he, he starts asking me questions. He walked around the limo and he was like, okay, yeah, it looks right. And then he, he talked to me and he was like, so where are you from? And I'm like, oh, I'm from New Zealand. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, um, what, what brings you here? I'm like, oh, we're on a road trip from Melbourne. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, is this car registered? And we're like, yeah, it's registered in South Australia. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it's just like all these different places. And I reckon I reckon he was just like, fuck, that's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> um, and so I think he just let us go because he realized it would have been kind of a hassle to do anything to us. Yeah. yeah. But at the exact same time that we got pulled over, so as this is happening, car, we, we, me and Matt, got pulled over. Yeah, we, well, you know, we're, we're going down. We're trying to follow people. I think they were like pulling into a McDonald's or something. Mm -hmm. And so like we, we go into this roundabout. We die in the middle of the fucking roundabout. So we hear the ch 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 yeah. and it just fucking stops. Car turns off. We roll in in the middle of a <laughs> very tight roundabout with a fucking truck. It wasn't no, we died us. in a roundabout before that, and then a cop came dude, past us. So like, I was like, oh fuck, this is it. Yeah, dude, so it was game the, over. It was literally the first roundabout. Car dies. Fucking, you know, Ryan and and everyone else's car goes off in one direction, and the same way they come, a cop car like pulls into the roundabout and we're like fuck we're fucked we're so fucked and then the cop goes around totally saws goes around takes the exit right behind us yeah. doesn't even did, get out to help didn't even get out yeah, to help the fuck? Like, yeah, not we my fucking job we were fucking completely pulled over wasn't like, it the same cop that pulled us over no no, 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 no. but one. it was like simultaneous that these two things happened yeah. like, as the lights as the... flash in the back of ours we just hear them going fuck the car stopped yeah, <laughs> yeah. The car was dead in the middle of the roundabout and we were in a rush too like Ryan's like don't get out at McDonald's just tell me what you want I'll get you guys everything yeah. Yeah. Like, and so we had to all try this shit hits the fan all at once like breaking down in the middle of the roundabout is sketchy enough but it wasn't just any roundabout it was one of those massive roundabouts that's like an off ramp of a motorway. Yeah. So like yeah. it's a fast mo uh, roundabout with a lot of traffic. Yeah. And then it stopped cars. in the middle. <laughs> oh, well, eventually we got running again, and yeah. then we died in the second roundabout. Yeah, you're talking we died about. in There's the like second roundabout. Truck right behind us, like a big tractor trailer. He's like honking, honking his horn. His I'm like, we're like bro, bro, I got my hazards on. We're like, we're like, like we <laughs> can't move, man. We like, what do you want? Such a and so, as soon as we got it moving again, we or they, were just they pushed us. Like, yeah, they, they pushed us. They parked the Maccas across the street. They ran across. Yeah, started pushing us out of the way, and then we got it push started. Yeah, we went Mitch, down like, the hill. Yeah. We went to a residential area, and we tried to diagnose it for like half an hour, forty-five minutes, and then eventually we got it running again. Kind of, like we push started it, kind of, and then we got it up to a petrol station. But it was yeah. Like, and then, like, there's some dude there. He's like, yeah, that's fucked. Yeah, he literally <laughs> was like, you got yeah. rod knock or whatever. Yeah. Your engine's fucked. You're screwed. At, yeah. at some point, the engine's rod is just going to fucking shoot out. <laughs> like, Which we, well, were like, we were like, we were like, surely we just, yeah, just stick a GoPro we just, on there uh, you know, drive it till it happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it just got to a point it wouldn't really, like, work. Mm -hmm. um, we got it to Hobart, know. though. Yeah, yeah we, yeah, we yeah, called it, a tow truck and towed it to the Yeah, Airbnb. we towed it to the Airbnb that was uh, in Hobart, and then yeah. we set up, like, a big tarp at that Airbnb yeah. uh, and parked the car over it, and then it was Matt's, um, you know, his, his goal, his quest. tell about what we did while we, like, sent it off? Yeah, go for it. Because we sent it off, and then... Because we still had shit to do that day. What did we do? We went Wait, to... Ab -sailing. Ab -sailing, right. Ab -sailing. Yeah. What was that? Where so the, we, um... we went up this fucking big-ass mountain, um, and at the top, there's this uh, fellow there waiting for us. We were a little bit late. Really nice, bit. <laughs> really nice guy from Tas Tasmania. Fucking good sense of humor on him. Yeah, he was so funny. And uh, he Pulling told us, with the he told oh, us yeah. that we were gonna be uh, doing abseiling, which is like you know, if you don't know, just descending down a cliff face uh, mm -hmm. with a harness, um, which is something that Toby and I had done before. It's something that like we did yeah, in I, school. I, I feel like uh, like most New Zealanders. It's just a New Zealander. Thing. When, yeah, you're, weird. Yeah. when you're in school, you go to school camp, you do some abseiling. Yeah, it's like a fun <laughs> thing you do as a kid. But like yeah. these guys had, had no uh, experience. No Swagger experience. Hates heights, so he was I terrified. hated heights. It was horrible. We smoked a bunch of weed up there with this fella. He was cracking a bunch of jokes, and yeah, we kind of just descend uh, one by one down this this cliff face, which was, you know, it was good fun. Yeah, good fun, you know? I, I slipped. <laughs> I fucking slipped, slipped and, I, and I hit the wall, and my hand was pinned, and I had to like fucking pull it out from underneath me. And life or death. It was basically 127 <laughs> hours for Swagger. It yeah. was horrible, yeah. dude. It was horrible. I was so out of my comfort zone. I did it, though. Swagger so did, did, did very well, did, actually. Did very you well. know, for, for someone who was so stressed out about it, he did very well. Yeah. Matt lit a dart halfway. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 I'm like, I pull out a dart, I'm like, 
Someone got a lighter up there? We Fucking, just, what, Ryan chucks one down. Would you want to acknowledge? With the, with the context, um, Matt mm. decided for the trip and the bit. That to get he, in character. The, yeah. To get in character for the car and whatever, to buy 15 packs of the worst cigarettes you can think of <laughs> um, and just smoke them throughout the trip. <laughs> with no, bro. no the history of smoking ever. <laughs> um, and <laughs> Mason doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> doesn't even know. He's properly addicted now. Yeah, it's, what, it's terrible. Oh, yeah. Hey, he was smoking packs before you got here today. Dude, what the <laughs> fuck? Bro, I told That's, you, I'm man. trying not to hit that vape. It's very tempting. I appreciate oh, it if you put it away. Shit, bro. Yeah, ever since the video, oh. Matt's had a crippling nicotine addiction. Damn. Do you, wanna, yeah. do you actually want to... Nah, nah, don't. Nah, don't, nah, don't, nah, 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 okay. nah, nah, nah. Okay. It's fine. Uh, it's yeah, hilarious. So Matt's basically a full-on ciggy addict now, uh, all because of this character he committed he's got to. Commi- he's, it's commitment. He's yeah. still method acting. I don't yeah. know when the bit's going to end. Uh, he's well, when he sells no the six, car. Those we're strong. He, he wants us to wrap I up just, I just had to have one halfway down. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. couldn't wait. And I was like, someone chucked me a lighter. I pulled away out of my pocket. I got it in my mouth. And it's deceivingly hard to catch a lighter when it's coming like in a straight line down at you. It's hard to like judge the distance. You say deceivingly. I, I would expect that. Yeah. Personally. yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, <laughs> trying to catch it left-handed didn't really work out. I was like, fuck, hold on. Like, very carefully tried yeah. changing so my grip while I'm you, hanging you missed, on this clip You missed base. the first slider, so we yeah. had to throw down the second and last. Yeah, but then the Chad was like, oi, I bet you a thousand bucks you can't catch this, sir. How, was it a thousand bucks? I don't even remember. Is that a video? Yeah, well, he owes me He owes me a lot of money. He owes you money. the next one. I fucking catch it with you one hand, it. light it up. Start smoking, <laughs> fucking put it in the pocket, start going down. But yeah, Chad owes me like a thousand bucks, I think. Yeah. Was, <laughs> the only one. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> it yeah, was a good absolutely time. was good. The dude was a, was a proper tr- proper legend. He was a character. Oh, he was hilarious. So you probably can't convey it uh, on the podcast. You'll have to see the video. Yeah, it was a beautiful, shows. beautiful view. It was absolutely, it was a, just a good bit of fun. But those guys, uh, what they normally do... What we we unfortunately couldn't do this, but what they normally do is abseil down the dam that we went to earlier. That which, was the original plan, I think. Which for us. fuck was, yeah, that. would have been I would so fun. It would have been great. I would done that. It would have been like a good few minutes of abseiling. They said it was so. They said it was like super easy because it's literally just you go straight yeah, down. Yeah, it's a flat face. But, but fuck, like, that. fuck that. <laughs> you know how tall that shit is. Yeah, fuck no, no. you could not convince my brain to climb over that no. railing. Fuck no. But that was the only activity for the day. We did our abseiling, and then we just headed back to the to a new era. To chill. And well, it was, yeah, it was where, for the... Uh, special guest was waiting for us. Mm. Uh, oh, chef, yeah. Chef, chef David. David chef David. Um, w- maybe the best chef in the world. We've talked about him before. Uh, he was there to surprise us, and uh, he had some very interesting meals uh, planned, <laughs> uh, much to Mason's delight. Nah, uh, we nah, get there, no. and on the table, there's three uh, roasted pig heads with <laughs> apples in them. And, uh, you know, they were, they, they were, they were more pig skulls. Uh, they, 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 were, they, they, were were they had a little bit of they face. They had some face on them, a bit of crackling. Just not much. A bit of cheek. <laughs> it was kind of delicious and salty to the time. I didn't want to try any of that It stuff. wasn't as good as normal crackling. Yeah, be Mason honest. was being a little bitch. David had a multi-course meal planned for us, uh, which uh, consisted of such things as, I think, ox tongue. It was uh, ox tongue, tacos, liver, liver, liver heart. Liver, heart like, oh, yeah, uh, heart. hearts and stuff. Or he was sheep hearts, I think. Because yeah. he was trying to get a hold of, um, like, the most ranked shit, but he couldn't yeah. He couldn't get, like, beef pussy or, <laughs> yeah, or like, or Ryan like said, pig v- cock. Yeah. Ryan said, uh, serve them... Penises and vaginas, and he couldn't get. Yeah, his he literally couldn't get it. Oh, who would have? Who would have known that getting a can of cervix would be like you know? I, I thought David would have no problem getting pussy. I, ex- yeah. <laughs> I thought he had contacts. No, but like he did serve us some pretty interesting meals, uh, which you know weren't not tasty, but definitely quite <laughs> good. Uh, but yeah. it was quite. You know, uh, that's the thing. Like it was new. He's yeah, a new. he's a great chef. So like the it's flavors were good. Mm. They they were they were good flavors. Most of the problem with them was texture. It was like yeah. they were most of them were meat. weird Tex- textures. Texture in the mental block of which Mason was uh, very much opposed to. He was uh, <laughs> dude. He was like, get past our mental yeah, block. dude. He was so I tried rude. The crackling and that was it. Well, bro. It was put me off, man. We were we were teasing. Yeah, yeah. We were like peeling off the pig skin. The that pig on the lips. what I did later. Well, my, my Mason was kind of being a bit of a baby, so I was like, you know, I was ribbing him pretty hard. And then later that evening, me and Mason were just getting pissed ass. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Snorkels. Snorkels. beer snorkels. Yeah, but you weren't doing beer snorkels, you're doing cruiser snorkels. Well, yeah. I, was, I was already on the whiskey, like planning to have a good day. And then Mason's like, we can't fucking do a snorkel cup. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck, I hate snorkels. That's so old. And you're like, oh, you were teasing me earlier, man. You fucking do a snorkel. I was yeah. like, all right, I'll do a snorkel if you eat some fucking. 
whatever i don't know it was, like, yeah it was like if you, you eat, if you, yeah and, and then he and then he goes all right if you do if you do two snorkels i'll eat a, a pig's eye out a of the snorkel, trash <laughs> yeah. a snorkel for those of you who don't know is like a device that you can attach to the top of a beer it's like a beer bong cruise or whatever and you basically it, it lets you just chug the whole thing in one go like you tip it upside down and because of the airflow it just vortexes into your mouth which you know there were worse things. But I got those from a vending machine. Yeah, fucking pretty. It's pretty rank. Like it's a lot of <laughs> alcohol all at once. Yeah. Anyway, Mason digs around in the trash for this pig eye. Yeah. So scoops it out. So, so <laughs> dude digs it out. No, the no. Let me just just uh, just to set the scene. Mason challenges Fitz. Two snorkels. If you do two snorkels, <laughs> I'll eat two a snorkels. pig's eye. And then Fitz was like. Okay, that's a no-brainer because I just get two snorkels and you have to fucking eat a pig's eye. Yeah. And he was and he was already drunk, so he was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll go for it." Mason so, thought that he had just won. Yeah, he, he was thought, like, thought, thought it was a good deal. <laughs> so he goes over to the <laughs> trash <laughs> can and he and, like he goes to the trash can and there's a fucking dead pig head like just in the trash can, top of the garbage. Of course, and right. so he takes his fucking he takes his hand, he puts it in, he starts finger fucking the eyeball out of this out of the eye socket. Of this pig. He's finger fucking <laughs> the eye socket. He takes it out and he's like, "Oh yeah, I got it." And so he goes over to the sink. Uh, they're filming him about to eat it and he looks at it and he, and he's like getting queasy he's like oh man I'm gonna mind and he looks at it and he fucking throws up projectile vomits <laughs> onto the eyeball <laughs> and then he like washes it like in the sink <laughs> <laughs> to make sure it's clean. He also left the vomit in the sink. Yeah, yeah and scrambled I, that. Oh, and then man, you, I was fucked that night. Yeah, and then and then you set down the hatch, and then you put it in your mouth, and you started chewing it, and then you just uh, oh, it was waves did, and waves of munt. Did you feel just, it pop in your mouth? <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. Oh, it was like, and it really tastes. Shit. Oh, it's terrible, man. It was oh. in the trash. I was <laughs> I was sitting upstairs while this was happening, and. I'm hearing Mason go through the trash, he's like, "Oh fuck, it's gross!" And yeah. then he goes upstairs and you do this here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. It was fucking so just. Funny. It was just a horrific, audible experience. <laughs> Meanwhile, all this is happening. Matt is diligently working on the car outside. He's taken yeah, apart Chris, the whole engine. He, like, he got like tarps and shit for me because he's leaking away. Yeah, all down dude. the driveway. And I just tore into the engine so that I could. You literally you, pulled an all nighter. The, the engine get it was running. literally taken. He literally took apart the engine with hand tools, the best that he possibly could. And he had the he had the engine completely like disassembled, still like in the car. Matt's working happened? so hard. Um, and then Mason, do we want to talk a, about that? After a few more snorkels between myself <laughs> and Mason, Mason starts feeling a little bit cheeky. Yeah. Well, I mean, like people were getting pretty rowdy. R- we were pissed. <laughs> Ryan was waving a camera in my face, and he keeps going like. Man, just do this bit. Just go piss on the car. No, he didn't say piss on the car. He said piss car. next to the car. He, he, so so next to the no, car. he said on the car. He literally we'll said on the, the car. Is. We'll see what the footage <laughs> the footage, there is the footage, footage. You know, He wasn't filming. Yeah, it's like, we don't have to go through all of it, but basically the idea was yeah. Mason piss to the side of the car. Mason interpreted that as piss directly into the open engine bay. <laughs> yeah. and that Matt was... That working Matt on. was working yeah. on for the last six Obviously hours. A huge dick move, um, <laughs> you know. But uh, Mason was drunk and pressured by Ryan, who pissed <laughs> on the car. Matt, of course, is furious. He's been working hard on this car, and he proceeds to run upstairs and uh, <laughs> chase Ryan. Leave it at that. Yeah. 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 It's funny. It's funny. Dude. It is. It is. It is a little bit Mason funny. Out, dude. It's like it was so funny. He a headlock. I did deserve. I did deserve it. It was like I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was so drunk and happy to be witnessing this moment. Oh, two snorkels. Ah, was it just two snorkels? You had a whole fucking bottle. So oh, fucked up. Bottle of whiskey. Two snorkels. He, 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 I, and he I didn't just do two, two snorkels. I did like yeah. six or seven snorkels. Okay, okay. Because you could go, like, oh, let's do another one. And <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Bro, by the end of that, I was fucking projectiling in the toilet. I yep. got a video on my snap. Do you remember that? No, I said in the group chat. <laughs> but you, uh, but you, you basically, place. you, you ended up going back, back home early the next day. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some personal stuff come up. Just had to had to handle some shit. Yeah. Um, but the trip was pretty much coming to a close. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Essentially, and the so next day. Well, well, that night, uh, Ryan Fitz and I are chatting, and we're like, uh, Ryan said, "Well, the next day, we we kind of, it's it's a bit hard to do what we were planning on doing the next day with only two cars. Can you can you like have a look around, and we'll see if we can find a car. So, w- Ryan and I are like looking on car sales and Facebook Marketplace, trying to find the car. We find a car. We we all agree that yeah this is this is pretty good. This is at like eleven p.m. and we we text this guy expecting him to reply in the morning, basically saying hey we we're a production we urgently need a car for our production. Uh, we would love to buy the car off you and, and we'll be a quick like easy sale. The guy replies ten minutes later and is kind of like 
well, this is strange, you know, that, that you're buying a car at this time of night. It's a bit odd. He's like, uh, th- th- he calls Ryan and like, you know, he's a bit sketched out because it is fucking weird buying a car at this time. And, uh, and, but he hesitantly agrees uh, after asking us to send photos of the cash and stuff to prove that it's real. <laughs> and Ryan and, was also like, just Google me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ryan said, just, you know, if you don't believe me, just Google me. The guy Googles him said, all right, I saw that you're part of a few things. I believe you. And we're like, fuck. So we need to, we need to make up $8,000. So like all of us have $1,000 limits on our cards for ATMs mm. as most people do. So we had to run around the house and ask people that it wouldn't like spoil so like like the production team and stuff, like, hey, can we can we borrow your card and get a thousand dollars cash out? We're like, we just really need this. We get together eight cards, drive down to the ATM, get eight thousand dollars cash out in the middle of the city, in the middle of Hobart, on like with all these drunk dudes walking around and stuff. <laughs> uh we get in the car, we start driving to this guy's house, and we see these like these people just wasted, uh like missing teeth and stuff, just off their face. Uh, pushing a trolley down the road. There's two people in the trolley, which is a shopping cart. If you don't know what it is, Mason, stop breathing, into breathing the directly mouth. into the microphone. Breathing like a fucking dog, right? Oh, in the sorry, mic. sorry. <laughs> it's fucking hot in here. Put, put it away from you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you but, but we're watching these people uh, go down the, the street. Petrol fumes in here, man. You don't smell that? It's good. <laughs> Breathe it in. <laughs> You're turning red. Go on, go on, go on, I know he's fucking hot in here. No, we need to finish the story and get the fuck out of this limo. We're dying. But uh, we see these people going down the street in the shopping cart, and they fucking. We're just like staring at them, like what the fuck's happening? And as we drive past them, they like it like slides off to the side, hits the gutter, falls over. These two like crackhead looking people fall out of this <laughs> out of the shopping cart and like roll onto the ground. The guy pushing it falls over. We turn around and just point and laugh. It was just so <laughs> oh fucking God. mean. But it was so funny. <laughs> and then we we pull up to this guy's house. He's he lives in the middle of the no and like buff fuck nowhere. Uh, there's, he has like a gate on his house and stuff. We, we pull into his driveway in the middle of this like forest, I guess. And, uh, he comes out and he's just this lovely old guy. We open the, the, he opens the garage and it's like the most pristine garage. He's clearly someone that just, his main hobby is tinkering away on his cars and keeping them in perfect condition. He has two Saabs and a, and an old Citroen, which was fucking awesome. They were all so cool. He showed us through them. He chatted to us. He was an ex bikey. Uh, well, not an ex-bikey. I mean, he's still technically a bikey, but he was just this Once old a bikey, dude. Always a bikey. Yeah, he was just telling these stories of of what it was like being a bikey. He was telling us stories of seeing his like uncle get fucking stabbed by his ex-wife and all this shit. And it was just, it yeah, was so much Tasmania. fun. Yeah, and, culture. Uh, but he was like, uh, no, that happened in Melbourne. Oh, <laughs> but, yeah, Melbourne. Was things. He was talking about bikey life, and Holy he said, shit. you know, I I was kind of I was in a group like you guys. You know, we just. And we called ourselves the the DCs, the dead cunts. And he said, we just used to, you know, get on the get on the bag, smoke weed, get drunk, have fun. He said, the one thing that I can say to you is don't slow down, you know, just enjoy life. And he said, let me Holy show you shit. something. And he, and he pulls out Holy his phone. Legend. He's like, this is my mate. He's probably 50 now. And he shows us a video of his 50-year-old mate being in Madagascar, like smoking this huge fucking joint, just like... I love, I love the weed of Madagascar. <laughs> this old dude, it was so funny. He we was gotta just, go to Madagascar. Like, this Fuck dude yeah. was just like the older version of us. He was just telling us all this, all, all these stories, and we were having a having a blast. And wow. we get in this car, and it's it's like perfect. And and he's like, oh yeah, if anything happens, you know, I've got literally everything you could ever need to repair on this car in the back of the car. You need anything replaced? It's already in here and ready for you to fix it. Wow! Well, oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. And uh, so we get this car. That would have been great for your first car. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. we 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 hide it so that we can meet the others later the next day and and show them that we we have a new car. Basically, it was so that we could get some Fitz and Toby content because. We didn't get any because of the uh, yeah, because of Sonny being dead. We were kind of separated by the limo, you being the driver, me being in the yeah, back. I couldn't exactly. sit in the front of the limo because the fucking there's no way. <laughs> yeah, the, the front so. seat is so far forward. So that was a good thing about this last day was that we were able to you know hang out together in a car. Yeah, alone. Yeah, <laughs> sing some beautiful music. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I was playing the guitar and shit. Yeah. It, was, it was good fun. Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean. The car was yellow, like Sunny, mm-hmm. so it kind of was. It uh, kind of was full circle. I learned how to sunny, drive it. Sunny, sunny two point I learned how to drive like manual in that car. Almost Sunny. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was um, almost sunny. Yeah. Almost sunny in Hobart. <laughs> almost sunny in Hobart. Uh, yeah, so the next day, unfortunately, Matt wasn't able to get his uh, car. No, nope. I wonder why. The morning, didn't know dice, and I think we went back one other time to try once more. And then it, it fucking it blew a hole down. in the oil pan and all the oil the came oil out. Like, straight up, nope, she's the dead. oil pan <laughs> straight up fucking exploded and it leaked oil everywhere onto the road. Uh, it, it, We were right outside of a horse farm when it died. So there were these two horses just kind of looking at us and a goat, a very curious goat. And so I got to pet all of them, which is pretty sick. <laughs> and all of a sudden you're crying yeah, over Matt's, my car. Matt's, like, crying over the, Matt's crying over the car. He's like, oh my God, it's ruined. And I was like, good horsey, good horsey. You're like petting <laughs> on the fucking horses. Like a little you paint kid. a Russian flag on it and then it dies and starts leaking oil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, straight up, All straight I'm up. Saying, America bad ran omen, well. Bad well, omen, and and yeah, uh, just left it there. Yeah, I was under the impression that we were going to tow it, that we were going to bring it back to Melbourne, that maybe we could shoot something with it afterwards, or I don't know. But yeah. no, it's still there. It's still it's on it's the still, side of the road. So it's the still next, on the side of the road. The, the, the fucking morning. horse farm. Car on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. we were told it was going to be like towed back. Like, okay, <laughs> well, yeah, like your car. Yeah, yeah. The fucking Honda. The Honda is fucking sitting in front of a horse farm to this day, and fucking Hobart is probably been impounded the and, location and they're probably <laughs> like yeah. they're probably trying to figure out who the car is registered to which it isn't you no i like to think <laughs> it's still there it allegedly. allegedly is not you i like to think it's gonna stay there with weeds growing out of it and shit <laughs> yeah it was funny like we didn't even know that happened and toby and i snuck out of the house early the next day to get some breakfast and to like link up in the car to surprise you guys and we're taking it for a drive and we just see the yeah we just see the car the oh. just there huh. <laughs> 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 like, that's weird it was really <laughs> awkward because i was like i was like fitz yeah we can go to a cafe like get some get some breakfast get a coffee and oh, then yeah. and then fitz was like Hey Swags, you want to come get a coffee? And but the reason I was trying to get Fitz to go to a cafe was so that we could sneak out and I could show him the car and yeah. then like sneak the car away so we could reveal it somewhere else. Yeah, Swag was like, sure, I'll come. So, and then to so, wait, really? Like, oh. Swag was ready to come <laughs> and we we had to like sneak out and just leave and not say anything. Oh, to him. you fucking totally, asshole! We so totally ditched him. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't have a choice. It was like there was that, and then there was like the the night before, like when it was like buying the car or whatever. It was like Ryan was asking me if I wanted to go out, and I was like, no, I don't want to fucking go out tonight oh. we wanted to go to the casino or something i figured that was a cover story no they we're, weren't gonna we're, go to the casino yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you ran past toby you're like oh bye we're gonna get some rubbing tugs i'm like yeah we we, okay. go, we, we went and got jacked <laughs> off by a bikey and bought his car <laughs> <laughs> the next day comes around this is really the last day of the trip the last proper yeah. day of the trip we um we now have well we're back to two cars because matt <laughs> yeah yep. broke down. So, so we're in but, the limo uh, now so yeah they're in the limo toby and i are in our new beast um, I got my guitar in yep. the passenger seat. I'm hanging out the window. Hanging out the side of the window. We're singing dumb, vulgar songs the yeah, whole time. Coming up with some beautiful tracks. Having a great time. Just enjoying what could have been the whole time. And yeah. our, our new Sonny. Trying to forget the old one. Rest in peace, Sonny. Rest in peace. Um, and yeah, we're, basically the plan is to just drive out to this uh, new campsite yep. by a beautiful lake. Some kind of like wine lake or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What it's called. But it was a gorgeous like, location. Yeah. Like, it was quite a quite a breezy drive. It was so good. We, we, we were like right with by a lagoon. The whole time. Dude, the whole time. Because if we had gone the original scheduled date, it would have rained every single day. Oh, yeah. it would have been fucking it horrible. It would have been so miserable. miserable. Yeah. The windows open too. Like, it would have been oh. so bad. So. This trip was like my favorite misfits trip we've ever been on. Yeah. If it was raining, oh, I think I mean, it just would have It would have been the worst. Yeah. It would have been the worst. Been awful. But anyway, like a, a great day of sun, travel, good times. We get to the next location, um, and we discover that we actually don't have a campsite rented for this. Yeah, location. you actually had to yeah. like, plan you had to like plan ahead, and, 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 and it wasn't just show up. Yeah, we didn't plan ahead. We didn't yeah. have a campsite, and this place was busy too. It was a gorgeous fucking location. Um, so we had to kind of like wait around a bit and see if we could snag a spot. We were waiting for quite a while, just, and uh, we thought, well, you know, since we're waiting, like Swagger might as well. Learn you to learn manual, and manual and because I never got to drive. You were talking Honda. about it the whole time. Like I'm gonna learn drive I manual. Know, this I was day. like, I'm it's gonna like... learn. I'm gonna learn the Honda. I'm gonna learn how to drive manual the Honda. Yeah, my own car. Nope. <laughs> no, <Nope, laughs> like, But it was cool to learn manual, does, anyways. I feel like I got the hang of it in this side. Yeah, you took it for a few yeah. spins around the block. Dude, dude, you picked it up very quickly. It was mm-hmm. it was funny to watch. And then at one point, you had to turn around to a three point turn on a hill, and there was like cars at both ways, dude. like freaking out, like fuck, what are you dude, dude, yeah, yeah, we. Dude, I kept stalling the car when there was a car behind me and a car in front. And That's I was always to do a, what happens. And I was trying to stress. do a three-point turn, and so I was blocking off both the lanes, and it just kept stalling. These two people were just looking at me, and I'm just fucking freaking out. And, you know, he's like my dad. Matt's like my I'm dad. I'm just like, like relax. They're like, at a campsite. Oh, God, They're just relax. They're just like yelling at me to relax. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, 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 fucking trying to get it started. 
And then I was like, Matt, you drive. You just fucking drive it. (laughs) Meanwhile, uh, Ryan and co. are trying to secure a campsite. They find a spot, but there's a curious character fishing. Well, I think what happened is there was a spot that had uh, a chain that was up that said, like, that this campsite was closed. But the chain had been put down, and it was kind of, like, blocking the thing, but it it wasn't up anymore. So they pulled in, and the reason it was down was because a ranger had decided to use that spot as his fishing spot. So it was a closed campsite, but he was like, ah, oh, I'm going to come down here and do some fishing. Yeah. Uh, so he'd done that, and they pull in. He's like, you guys you guys rent this place? You guys have a permit or whatever? And Ryan just, like, bullshits the story up. It's like telling him that uh, yeah. fucking, like, we, we like, have a... Uh, you know, pass from the travel agency or travel ministry of Australia yep. or something. And we're filming this video and <laughs> it's all pretty last minute, but yeah, we're, we're definitely supposed to be We got here. told to come to this exact you know, spot. This, this place. And the ranger's just like not really buying it, but at the same time, like he doesn't have any evidence to the contrary. So he's kind of like, you know, after a bit of uh, <laughs> debating back and forth, I think he eventually just like decides like, all right, well, I'm just going to check with this and come back tomorrow morning. Yeah. And, you know, you guys aren't going to be loud or anything. Are you? And we're like, no, no. We're, we're because loud. the thing we're is loud. like the, the campsite right next to it was open and i think normally they don't have people in both campsites they have one closed and the yeah. other one open yeah so that it's not like two people right beside each other yeah and the guy was pretty stirring so he was worried that we were going to be too sus. loud for this this uh this mum and, and daughter that were right next to us yeah but we we were pretty we no were nice. we were actually pretty good no we, we were you were, you, you were playing spooky sounds on the speaker when everyone was going <laughs> to sleep like horror music sounds <laughs> and like right. and then and then you were like uh. then you were like eh I'm bored of nature, and then you turned on fucking like city noises, like traffic and fucking cars honking and shit. So you know, like we're we were we, for <laughs> most of for most of the night, we were like they would have been asleep by then anyway. And like we, the park ranger fucked off, and we were just kind of chilling. Um, we didn't have a campfire, so no, we uh, made a ca- makeshift campfire. Matt, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah it's like a fire. box of like a hundred um tea light. Light. Like a little tea, tea, tea candles, little tea white tea brown candles. ones. Yeah, like slowly lighting them one by one. They're like, this is stupid. Yes. By, the, by the time you get all of them lit, yeah, we had well, it's not that bad. You get like the candles. It did low. It did look trippy because they were all like flickering at their own rates. It was just like this. It was so crazy. Bar- we had barbecue. We had the whole barbecue. We made some sausage sizzles and some the candles. And and marsh- we had marshmallows on the candles, so which was great. Tastes like paraffin wax. And then a motherfucking possum rolled up into our into our shit, stole two sausages and ate half a steak. Yeah. Well, we threw the steak at him. <laughs> well, yeah. The possum he was fearless. He came yeah. right up to you, and dude, fuck. he's eating. He's sitting down. Big fat fucking gut hanging out. He's eating his steak, and you and you go you go back and you pick up salt and pepper and you bring it to him, and you start just <laughs> put, like grinding the salt and pepper onto the steak, yeah, like was... right in front of him, and then you go, mm, I hope that's to your liking, sir. And then you like walk away, and he looks at you, and he looks at the steak, and he starts eating it. Yeah, dude, I'm mean, just improving his meal. I think yeah. I got a little bit of salt and pepper on him as well, maybe. So. Yeah, dude. There's Mitchell, a nicely seasoned possum somewhere Mitch, out there by the lake. Mitchell but, uh, was there was there uh, filming it, and he was just like. Is, are, are, like, are you supposed to give, like, possums, like, steak? Like, is this bad for them? And I was like, dude, calm down. It's like an animal. Like, they eat meat. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know if they eat meat. And I Googled it. And I was like, is it okay for possums to eat steak? And it said, like, yes, they can have a little bit of steak as a treat. And yeah. we gave him we gave him a big motherfucking treat. Yeah, he couldn't even finish that motherfucker. Yeah, he dude, got bored. He, he was the like, steak man, there. I'm just, like, actually full for the first yeah, time in my life. Yeah, two sausages. <laughs> dude, he was, he was chilling. So, he yeah, we got a little, it, it was so cute. It was a pretty chill evening, really. Not not too much else happened. We did a few shenanigans that you'll probably see on camera. And yeah, we got a, we got another night's sleep in the tent. Yeah, we woke up the next yeah, morning. Right. We went to the lagoon. We we did a little bit of wading went in the for water. A swim. A little bit of a swim. Yeah, got so, got a nice breakfast of fish and chips and ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we decided to go paintballing. Yeah. Yeah, which we was were paintballing. Well, which we were initially like, uh, you know, like paintballing is not going to be content, but like, you know, we've been on this trip. Let's let off some steam and, and relax. We could make you something know. like, surely we just like shoot the limit with paintballs yeah. or something. We're like, let's have some fun. So we, we pull up to this paintball place and the the owners see this pink limo and they fucking love it. Run by they're, land. They're taking they photos. It. They're having a blast with it. We're chatting to this guy and we're like, you know, can we, can we pull it onto the paintball course? And the guy goes, oh. Yes, that is awesome. It's like you know, I've had some, I've had some great people here, but I've never had someone request for their pink limo to be pulled out onto yeah, the course. Of it. course, you can do that. And he was having a blast. He, was, he loved the Further, shit out of it. You know, proving that pink limo just gets you anywhere. <laughs> so we pull the pink limo out onto the course and we start playing some paintball. So fun. We we we, we fucking. <laughs> 
we we like Fitz and I jump into the limo and start shooting out of it and the windows. You know, so we tried to drive it for a bit, but like it was a bit too sketchy. Well, I, I tried to drive <laughs> yeah. it, but uh, I had the I left the door open and I started reversing. And the door got caught on something, and they're like, oh. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. And I thought they were telling me not to drive it, but they were just telling me to close the door. So I was like, okay, I'll turn it and off. It was <laughs> in the chaos of battle. We were just like, oh, fuck. I, I was sitting here. They were all shooting at me, and I was just slowly. The, yeah. the, the fucking the window in this car goes up comically slow. I was just slowly <laughs> raising yeah. this window as paintballs were coming in. Yeah. It was so funny. Dude, the car got so just, fucked up. Dude, I was shattered glass oh, yeah, like, where all the fucking paintballs were. It was yeah. fully breaking the glass. I was like sticking my barrel out the side, like trying to oh, hit people. So funny. It was actually a very effective cover. Yeah. We played a few rounds of Capture the Flag. It was great. Got shot up. Ryan had a full auto one. Oh, yeah. it was just, Ryan had this terrifying It was terrifying. Gun. Yeah, it, it got me a few times in the fucking skull and the, the I ass. think he said it shot like 18 rounds a second or something. <laughs> It was ridiculous. So like it was when he was shooting at you, it was so scary, yeah. and it shot so like so many of them. not just uh, fast as a rate of fire fast, but like the 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 speed that it was it a shot, volley, like dude. distance it was, a volley. was so fast. But yeah, the painful the painful will be enjoyed more on a visual level. I'm sure. I'm yeah, keen to see how the edit comes together. It was a great way to end the trip, though. A great way to end that last day. Yeah. By the time we wrapped up paintball, it was getting getting slightly dark you know something was yeah. going down and yeah. like, all right let's let's drive off to the last airbnb the last yeah. night we knew we were gonna fly out tomorrow i decided to fuck around a bit um some, some I, wait, <laughs> I, I i realized yeah, that you did burn this, the, the sub because it was like turbo it was like relatively fast. it was front wheel drive though so like every time we were leaving somewhere i'd peel out as like full throttle yeah um and you know it, that was a bit of fun and then i was driving and i was like I was like, you know, I've always wanted to do this, but I've never done it. I was like, it's, it's a long straight road. It's pretty wide. There's no one coming. Fuck it. I was going like 110, uh, foot on the clutch, just rip the handbrake and just see what, what happens. Just like sliding down the road. It was so much fun. And then mm -hmm. drop it in, keep driving. And everyone was like, what the fuck just happened? Were you trying to avoid an animal or something? <laughs> but, and, and they were, uh, for some Jesus. reason, I thought they were filming us, but they weren't. Because uh, why would they just be randomly yeah, filming yeah. us? Uh, so I did it again for them. And then... I saw this big, like, in the middle of nowhere, this huge gravel square. And I was like, oh, I've been wanting to do donuts in the limo this whole trip. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect spot for it. And I was like, surely this is limo donut spot. And someone was like, no, 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 do not do it. Like, we don't know if the engine can handle it. And, like, the limo's already got, like, broken windows and stuff. The limo's I was like, okay, that's, that's pretty fair. Like, the windows are always down. All this dust will come in. It, 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 it'll be bad. I was like, well, we've already pulled over. We've got to do donuts and something. So we, we do it in the Saab. We try doing a donut, and it doesn't really work. And I was like, oh, it's front-wheel drive. We've got to do it in reverse. Oh, yeah. So I reverse, and we just start spinning <laughs> around and, yeah. like, on the spot. It wasn't really a donut. It was more just like – it was like a fucking merry-go-round. Yeah, you were, like, being whipped around <laughs> and we were just shit. just spinning. It was, it was so spinning fun. Spinning in an office, it was too. Fun. <laughs> Huge dust cloud came up. Yeah. It was hectic. And, yeah, the rest of the ride home, we were just, just – slamming bangers just playing bangers yep. just celebrating the end of a good trip it was a great time and it was the last night we get to the last airbnb I, did anything of event happen no we just right? slept we really chilled just got we that just last airbnb hung out. That, that last airbnb was funny it had these comically small door frames yeah, dude. at the front of the house like the back of the house was normal and the front of the house was like, like so small like a little hobbit house <laughs> it was like weird and then they had that one really small chair <laughs> yeah it was like a, yeah, this little chair we took this funny photo of me like sitting in this little chair at the end of this tiny hallway with this small door frames from the other side of the house it's like you'll have to see it like, it was just just strange it was just a strange place um but it was good fun yeah it's nice nice, yeah. You know, nice chill out rest drove it, drove the next up. day to the to the airport in, in the, the pink limo, limo said goodbye to it you know and then yeah boarded our flight and we're back in melbourne before you know it. it's fucking it's such an easy flight compared to the ferry ride oh yeah my god it was it was a it was a great trip, but it a lot was. of driving. Like a lot I, of I, driving. I, I don't know how many hours I did, but I, I reckon in the limo I probably drove like twenty something hours. Yeah, it, it was, was you know it was a bit. It was a road trip of a of a trip. And, it was great, and I think that like it's going to come together really good. I think the footage was good. There were so many like different moments, as well as <laughs> like great like scenic shit. Like I don't know. I think yeah. it's going to be a cool cinematic video. It was great. No pressure, Mitchell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No pressure, we said on the, we said on the Misfits Instagram that it will be out on uh, four twenty. It's looking like that might have been a bit of a uh, a harsh Aww. estimate. You know, well, there's so yeah, much footage to look over. Like, we said that without, without saying anything to Mitchell. Without Mitchell, we, we kind of said that to fuck and, with him. So and also, you know, we were two days into the trip. Yeah. 
But you guys have seen our other videos. You know that Mitchell always kills it. They're always fucking, they're, they're masterpieces, honestly. We mm -hmm. love the Misfits videos. Um, so you can look forward to it at some point. I'm sure it'll be out in like a month or so. Like who knows? Um, but yeah, it's going to be a big one. It's yeah. going to be a good one. It will be a and, big one. Uh, yeah. Good trip over. We hope you guys enjoyed uh, listening to the audiobook. I'm ready to get the fuck out of this limo. Guys, we're dying. Yeah. Yeah. So tired. It's it's hard. Hard. These GoPros will be turning off the whole time. So sorry if the audio was a little cutty at some at some points. But we hope you enjoyed the uh, the story. We're glad to be back. Sorry for the break. But, you know, we're trying to be more intentional with these podcasts. We're trying to make sure the content's good. Um, so, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed with the Misfits. How are you feeling, Miss? Fucking hot in this fucking car. Yeah, what's that <laughs> behind your left yeah. shoulder, Mace? What is that? What? Is that from Paintball? What is that up there? Is that a cup? Oh, it's a cup. A what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a cup. Someone's cup from Paintball. Oh, you stole it. <laughs> they made us wear that? cups during Paintball to protect <laughs> our cock and balls, too. Um, cock and balls. Cock and balls. Got to protect them both. Guys, with the Misfits, this has been the podcast. Thank Welcome you to back. Gamer Subs. Thank you to JBL. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks and thank you for listening. Yep. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you in the video. Bye. 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 Bye.